check. Welcome, everybody, to Tuesday Night. Uh, we've got a debate. This one is going to be, this is going to be something. Um, buckle up. Grab your, grab your tune shine. Um, open up all your tabs. Because if you know Doug Daros uh, and uh, how, how fun and strange he is, well, get ready. Because you're about to meet his friend, his his uh, as he calls himself his lackey um uh hold on i'm getting him I'm getting him up because he was sharing his screen i just all right captain or captain cook hi captain captain cook am i on screen now uh, you're on screen they can they can that's see that's amazing you. i'm sure they're happy. is everyone from the discord server watching right now uh i i cannot say with confidence that it's everyone from the discord server or not Okay. But, well, I just uh, want to say I got the the leather jacket on like Doug had. If you want to join the concave cult, you have to wear a leather jacket. I may be able to provide one for you. Just hit me up on Instagram. Do I plug it now or at the end? Uh, whatever you want. It's... Peace out, right? E S A U, right? Like right? Like wrong and right? Because concave is right. Whatever. That's my Instagram. Hit me up if you want to know the truth and join the concave cult. We're growing in numbers every day. Um, you know, we got like 52 members, but yep. small beginnings lead to 52. Know, you guys proof. are rocking. Um, Who's that, that, that might, this might be a global record for the number of concavers simultaneously. Um, yes, sir. I heard the ones in Florida died. Uh, I don't know what happened to them. Cyrus Teed. Well, he was, it was, he was in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what happens to people living yeah. in the 1800s. They tend to die by 2024. I think the government killed him because they didn't want to know this. I I very much doubt that. I think he probably just died because that's what happened to him. You trust the government? Uh, nope. NASA? Don't need to. Oh, so you don't trust NASA? Don't, don't need Isn't to that trust. Your whole... I don't need to trust the government to determine the shape of the earth. But And, and in general, no, don't trust the government. Definitely uh, verify based. things. Yep. Uh, That's based. Okay. So um, I don't know if you know this or not, but on the wall behind you is is uh, showing um, the other other direction there. That that, that yellow uh, star of achievement in the... Yeah. it uh, It's already been I on screen. I that for running cross country. It's already been on screen, but people know your name. Is that... Are you okay with that? Oh yeah, bro. I'm famous. I got that for running cross country, bro. And I won almost, well, I didn't win a race, but I beat my PR multiple times. I got a 521 mile. Okay. So all the old heads in the discord server, they want to get on me, bro. 521 mile, 135 bench for five reps, five reps times five sets. So I don't know what the max is, but probably a lot, you know. But so ladies, yeah, pay, pay attention, ladies. Oh yeah. He oh, can yeah. bench 135. So for five reps for, yeah five, for five times six. um were they were they like within the same day even why, why are you trying to get on me right now mike come on i bet i can bench more than you dude i can set it up i can fly you out here okay and we'll go have a competition and then whoever wins let's just say their their model's correct you down i, I would happily come to california to do a bench press competition with you Oh yeah, and Doug. Especially Doug since too. you're flying me, I guess. Oh yeah, buddy. See, not all of the concave birthers are uh, are in the week dying like that one guy. Was his name Cyrus? Yeah, Cyrus not D. Me, the, the the guy that that died because he was it was during the 1800s doing stuff. What the, what's wrong nah. with him that he decided to die since then? Because <laughs> as long as you see me, I'm not going to be dead, bro. Okay. So, now, now, I, I do you think that Cyrus could bench one thirty five? Everyone in the eighteen hundreds had testosterone because there was no fluoride in the waters, and 
they weren't poisoning it, making us gay. So I think he probably could just naturally. Um, but if I was around back then, I could probably bench more than him. You know what I'm saying? Why are you laughing, dude? So, so I you is know. this how much how much of uh, Doug's approval is is on this? Doug gave me the information. I'm kind of running with everything else. Uh, but we approved on the jackets. Okay, the leather jackets. We might start a biker club. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, um, how how much foreplay can we get in the 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 slides? Uh, yep. You, you use the wrong Amazing. word there. Don't please what? do do avoid that word that you that none of that is happening. Well, the F word. No. Okay. Well, yes, it did start with F, <laughs> but it had eight letters oh. instead of four. Uh, okay. Can you see my screen? Um. Yep. Nice. Okay, I got it, dude. How do I? Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Is my my audio is good? Everything? Unfortunately, yes. All right. Oh, yo, this, this is what I see with the Globe Earthers. They always got some snarky Spider-Man quips that they'll throw at you. At least you're the one doing it in VC. All the rest of them were in chat doing it because they couldn't do it in VC. They weren't quick enough with it. But I guess you'll be my competition, McTune. Okay. Okay. Do you want to? Okay. So is Doug okay. watching? Is is Doug here? Uh... Doug, what's up, Doug the Arrows? Me and Doug are going to do big things. Concave Earth is going global, like you said. Uh -huh. We're going to change the entire voting system of America to make it more in the people's hands. It's going global. Give them freedom and liberty. That's mm -hmm. super. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's. It, it, it might go. Through. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let's see your your woke truth. Why here. Concave Earth is correct by me, Jaden. Uh, a lot of flat earthers we talked to, they called me Doug's lackey just because I was backing up what he said. So that I'm going to go with that now. And we're going to make it official. Doug is the superior. I'm below him. I'm the recruiter for the cult. Okay. So we'll start out. Um, what is concave earth? Like, what is this, right? So at the picture you can see on the left is a 2D model. I know a lot of your fans were asking for, can you give us a model? The model only exists in Doug's, the creator's head right now. He needs to be able to animate it and make a program with it. But as this is the model on a 2D space. And just to make it more, because this model didn't make sense to me when I saw it, just to make it make more sense, if you think of the game Halo, you know, they have that Halo ring, but imagine instead of a ring, it went all the way around, right? So you can see right there, there's like Africa, there's McToon up there, Doug, all of them, okay? I, so that's Concave Earth. We're, I, I've what? read I've read Ring World. Good, It's a good book. I, I have there ain't no justice. I, yeah, I have no idea what that is. But anyways, concave earth, where where it's a basketball. The earth is a basketball, but we're inside the basketball on the rim of it, and everything else is inside the basketball. Okay? So I hope okay. they understand that. It's not hollow earth. You don't jump inside Antarctica like a Mario pipe and end up in whatever, Narnia or whatever. It's not what we believe, okay? It's just the earth inside out. Okay. Cool transitions. So why concave Earth? Because concave Earth is the combination of globe Earth and flat Earth, okay? When you look at the flat Earth points, I have them on the left here. You might be able to pull out your Flurf bingo today because I'm going to use some of them. The, As you can see, the vacuum chamber, you cannot have pressurized gas next to a vacuum chamber. I'm sure you've heard that one before. That's that's one of their favorites. Wait, so um, say, the second say, one, say that again? The vacuum chamber? Yeah, you can't you have, have pressurized, pressurized gas, gas next to a vacuum chamber yep, without okay. a container. Yeah. Yeah, next to a vacuum chamber. All right. Yeah. The second one is this table. They always say the table measures flat. That's because there is no curve on the earth. It measures flat. And then the gravitational field. I actually got the wrong picture for that. That's supposed to be the electric field around the earth. But we'll get to those in a second. But flat earth is not right. Flat earth isn't right either. Even though they have good points, I we, I, we do believe yeah. Yeah, right. True. That's what we can agree on. We both agree that satellites are giving us images of Earth. Um, I personally don't think NASA went to the moon, but it's not an official opinion of the concave cult that NASA didn't go to the moon. Right. We're still trying to get funding from them. So we have to, you know, kind of lick their boots. But yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, we're, we're how you doing, Doug? This. Doug, what's up, bro? 
I just want to make sure you're uh, watching. I uh Okay. Thanks, Doug. That's all. He should be. All right. He trained Bye. me, dude. We were up last night doing some karate kid training on this, dude. I'm so okay. ready. So yeah, okay. for, for those of you wondering, I just called Doug to make sure that that he's giving this his uh Doug of approval. So okay. Yeah, you talked about this. The lunar eclipse as well. It doesn't make sense on a flat earth. How does a lunar eclipse happen? They always try to talk their way out of that, but I, I never buy it. So the the reason I'm a concaver. Is because it kind of takes the best of both worlds, the globe and the flat earth points, and it combines them together, right? We'll get to that in a second. Wait, oh, yeah. addition. There's a plus there. Okay. Wait, what was the plus for? Yeah. It, it was combining the two points together. Okay. Mm -hmm. The spring. So we're going to go over the fundamentals real, real easy. This is the new atomic model because a lot of your fans did not understand what the spring was last time. They were like, is the spring real? Oh, he said spring. That means it must be like a loony bin theory, bro. We have to give words to things that we don't comprehend to make sense to you guys. So we call it a spring. This is what it really is. This is the new atomic model. You have a proton and a neutron combined, and they're attached by this, this spring, this ether, and the electron is all the way out. It could be in who knows where, the middle of the universe. It could be the sun, whatever. Right. That is the new atomic model. So no longer is it every single atom is inside of every single thing. And there's always electrons floating around. No, no. All, all the electrons are up there and all the protons and neutrons are down here. OK. OK. So so th the that's spring. That's the spring. That's the spring. The spring is needed. Somebody asked if the spring was needed in the chat uh, last time. The spring is needed. I'm going to get to why in a second. OK. All right. Um, as you can see by this gif. The spring gets stronger as it gets together, and it gets weaker as it's further apart, right? So you can see how it's boing, 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 uh -huh. boing. Yep, okay. boing, boing. All right. Okay, next slide. How the spring is in everything. But what's, okay, the, this spring, is, what, what's the spring made of? Do we get to that later? The spring is just the separation. Okay. What separates the electron and the proton. What's it? My boy Witsa here. I debated Witsa. He ran from me. You know that? Yeah. So, I mean, hey, that makes two of us. <laughs> hey, let's go, bro. Well, I seen your debate with him. You kind of ran from him a little bit. But what? you shouldn't do that. Oh, my gosh. I just joined him, and he, he won't debate me again, poor guy. Yeah, he won't debate me either. He muted me on his server. But Witsa is still made of protons, right? And so Witsa they say. connected. So they say. Who knows? It might be a hologram. Witsa needs like direct evidence for that. So, I don't know. <laughs> See, I like these snarky, and I, I like these quips. Keep them coming. Okay. The electron is attached to Witsit. The electron could be the sun. It could be, like I said, whatever, up there in the wazoo. But Witsit is connected to it. Okay? By what? Every pr By the ether. The ether. The spring. Every proton is connected to an electron via the spring. So everything on Earth is made of protons, and every proton has an equivalent spring it's attached to, um, or an electron attached to by the spring. Does that make sense? Nope. But do keep going. Um, okay. Um, this is just an example. This shell would be Earth. You can see it's blue. I think he did that on purpose. Um, the the Earth. There is there's you. You're connected to springs. Uh -huh. There is, I believe, wits it. There's me. I'm connected springs. I'm in the gym. I told you, look at me, bro. Well, someone could zoom in on and enhance that, but I got muscles, dude. And then there's Doug, my boy Doug. We're all connected to 135 springs. pounds, ladies. He can bench For five, 135. Five reps. Five, five, five reps sets, five in five. the same day, even. Five sets of five reps. Yep. That's 25 reps of 130 pounds. Amazing. And, yes, in the same day. In the same hour. Even, wow. So imagine what the... One red max is like 200 pounds. I, I, okay. Not at all, but do go on. Okay, so we're all connected. Do you understand how we're all connected to the center electrons? What What is it that connects us again? The ether, the spring. And I'm going to explain how we get the spring in a second. Okay. Okay. Right. How did they get there? There we go. The fan fiction. You called it fan fiction last time, but it's just a, a story we use to explain it it's not fan fiction. Okay, so so here's you, Mictoon. Okay, you're on a planet. Uh, you're hey, digging for some that looks, reason. That looks just like me. I know. Uh, I know. I'm an amazing artist, dude. And maybe you're looking for, like, I don't know, evidence to support the globe. Maybe you're looking for the curve. 
Oh. But you're digging holes is the point. Now okay. you dig a hole and you have neutrons, you have the pile, and you have the hole. Can we agree there? The the pile is made of neutrons? The pile is made of mass. Mass. Okay. Matter, to be more specific. Okay. Matter. And the hole is made of antimatter. We can call that, that right? No. Now what happens? The hole is not made of antimatter. Well, I, wait, it don't let me, it's not made don't of let matter. me don't let me derail you G to keep going it's not made of matter so it would be antimatter by um, comparison the point is there's nothing in the hole okay now what happens when you didn't find your evidence or whatever you were looking for in that hole you got to go dig another one but what happens there's not enough room so you have to take the, the pile and put it back in the hole and now you have nothing now it's back but, ground but zero, right? i might just say no way i'm i'm not feeling that i'm just gonna leave and leave the hole there. Yeah, you can do that, but then you would never find the curve, and then your whole channel would be gone. I don't know. I'm looking at that on the top diagram there. I see a curve on that. Right right yeah, above no the curves. end. Right above the right, end, I see was... the curve. <laughs> Where? Right, right there? Yeah, that, look at that curve. It That's because it's dirt. If it was water, water finds its level, as you know. I'm sure you've heard that before. Water finds its level, so if it was water, it would not be curving. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But how do we solve this problem? How do we have the piles exist um, without filling back up the holes, right? My guess this, is this that, diagram... that, that that people don't want piles. You know what I'm talking about. No, people want matter because they're made of it. Yeah. Otherwise, they would disappear. They don't want piles. Well, I don't get the joke. Never mind. Now explain. What, what's the joke? I don't get it. <laughs> Piles is something you don't want. That's what I'm saying. Just saying that. Like a pile of crap? Uh, it, it's in, you know, it's weird how much that is in the correct vicinity. Well, this could be a planet made of crap that you're digging on because, I mean, that is what globe is because you're trying to find the evidence here. So you might just be digging through a bunch of crap. But that's besides the point. The way we do this is you can imagine the electrons and the protons. This is where that, that little pyramid model came in uh -huh. you can imagine them as just mat you can imagine as matter and antimatter or uh, um basically the electrons and the protons annihilate so i had to find two things that annihilated fire and wood right so imagine in this scenario you have the you fill the hole with wood why are you dude why are you laughing man because i think what, that what you about just, this is silly i think that you just said that protons and neutrons annihilate in this model, they do, but they don't because there's an ether that's that's keeping them separated. But if they were to come together, they would annihilate, just like antimatter and matter would annihilate. Would you agree? Wait, but why? How does the ether keep them separated? Well, I was just about to explain that. Oh, oh, because if, right. you, yeah, if you have on. fire, if you have fire, and you have wood, it's going to annihilate the neutron. The pile is going to fall back into the hole, and then we're going to be back where we started, right? It's just waving our head. I was about to say a bad word. But, um, okay. The ether, Doug described it as a godlike entity. Okay? Now, I'm a Christian, so I'm going to say that Jesus Christ is the ether. I thought you were a Mormon. I, are you Mormon? Mormons are Christians. I know, but are you Mormon? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, I, I know Mormons say they're Christians. How about that? You, uh, you want to get in a theological debate? Because I can... I can no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just... I'm just... Trying to just to be clear. Yeah. Okay. But. Yeah. So Jesus Christ is the separation. And the reason why is because without him, we would be back where we started with nothing. There would be so, nothing so would exist. Okay. Jesus Christ is the reason, is how you got to keep them separated? Jesus Christ separated them. The reason why you got to keep them separated is because fire and wood would annihilate each other. And then you see the, the little neutron, the blue thing, it would fall, the pile would fall back into yeah. the hole. So you got to keep them separated. Mm -hmm. All right. And Jesus did that. And that's why the ether is described <laughs> as also light and electricity, because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Do you know who sang that song? Jesus said that. No, no, no. You, know who, Bible, sang that? you know who sang that song? It was some uh, Protestants. No that, no, that song where they say you got to keep them separated. That song. You know who sang that song? No, who sang that song? Off spring. 
Yo, yo, you, you're proving me right now, dude. Even the government knew about this. Whoever made that song, the government knew about this back then, and they still put the spring in there. Dude, so you laugh at Doug, but maybe Doug was on to something. You just got to listen, man. It could be. So Jesus, it could be. So Jesus, or you could say God, is the ether. God separated them, right? Okay. I had a way better analogy, but Doug made me change it last minute. How light really works. Sci scientists like Albert Einstein claim that light bends downwards due to gravity. Do you agree? No. <laughs> you don't. Isn't that a globe position? Dude, why are you? Okay, bro. No. Isn't that a globe no, position? <laughs> Dude, the gravity. That's why you say that like light is refracting and stuff. No, refraction is not. Refraction is not due to gravity. That's why you say like we can't see the the um beyond the curve, or th that's why that's your evidence to get the flat earth. So you don't think light bends downwards? Light say. does bend due to gravity, but not that that's not what causes light to bend down on the surface of the earth. The amount of of uh, deflection due to gravity is very very small. So small, in fact, that it's one point seven five one arc seconds at the limb of the sun. That's not much. Well, I don't know how they would measure that. No one's ever been to the sun. That's yeah. beside the point. Basically, Albert Einstein was wrong. Do you know how you go to, you know, either. look, you know how the sun is really hot, right? And if you make a spaceship to go land on the sun, it's going to melt, right? So how do you go to the sun and not melt your spacecraft? Yeah. You go at night. All right. Uh, anyway, what, why, why did you X out the flaccid pickle? Because light doesn't bend down. So, do you have a do you have an issue with flaccid pickling? No, I've I have an issue with misinformation. Doug DeArrow says light bends up. So light actually curves up as shown in Doug's experiments. I think he actually finished the experiment the other day. Um he just has to publish it and there was a mirage in the vacuum, right? So as you see this uh this image here. Are you do you see the red line on the left? I do. That is the light curving upwards. You have a problem with that? Oh no, I, I, I'm glad that your pickle is fixed. <laughs> okay, don't yo. Why are you so obsessed with the pickle, man? I put that on there just as a demonstration. It seems a little sus that you're looking at it. I'm trying to show you the light bending All right, on the left. I'll stop looking at it because I can't see it anymore. Okay. It's there. You go. It's right there. I can't see it anymore. Oh, good. Okay. So, yeah. I asked Doug, how do we get into the globe earthers brains and how do we make them change their whole reality, basically? And what he said was we need to make them realize that a mirage is not just due to air pressure. It's a fundamental law of the universe. Right. So you think that when you're on like a road and you see the mirage, you think it's because it's like hot. Maybe there's like air, air pressure on it. Right. But that's not why mirages happen. Mirages are just a natural part of existence. And he proved that by the mirage in the vacuum chamber with no air, right? And obviously no heat because there's no air inside the vacuum chamber. Right? Um, light and this mirage in general explains the entire concave theory. It explains everything from why we cannot look up and see Australia if you're in like California like me. Um, everything about the model. And it also explains this basically what's going on in this image is the light is curving back from the sun you, to did, the did center. Did you smush it? The image? Did you smush it? Yeah. It's not a circle anymore. Okay. Yeah, I had to fit it in there. That's what she said. Okay. How <laughs> light works part two. Albert Einstein, again, decided that... He just assumed this, by the way. All of this stuff he just assumed. He didn't prove it. But he said the speed of light is constant. Yes. Wrong. The speed of light changes based on altitude, meaning that you're further on a concave earth, that would be further away from the surface and more towards the center. So it goes and faster or slower? Slower. As you go up. And yeah. And okay. if I can get the video here, it, Doug showed this video of the inner thermometer. I'm sure you've seen it, right? Uh, of the what? The inner thermometer spinning. Yes. Okay. The inner thermometer. Right. And that proved that because they were spinning. Um, they were changing altitude, but it, the light did not change when it was spinning horizontally. So it proved that light only changes. Light, your Einstein was right. Light doesn't change horizontally. Light changes its speed based on altitude. Okay, and this is why Doug Doug brought up the um, the Voyager. 
because the Voyager appears to be slowing down. But logically, there's no reason why it should slow down. In fact, it should speed up if it's getting further away from the sun's gravity and it's getting weaker. Don't you agree that it should speed up? No, there's nothing accelerating it. It's well, rate. It's, not accelerating. it's rate of deceleration will decrease. Exactly. So imagine no. you had your foot oh on the gosh. brake. I didn't. Imagine. I did not just agree with you. I did not just I'm, agree. I'm trying to explain it to you. Imagine you had okay. your foot on the brake and on the acceleration, and now you're going from the sun, so you take your foot off the brake. What's going to happen? You're going to get faster, right? You're going to go from. Uh, I don't know what it was traveling at, like 100,000 miles an hour, you're going to go even faster. But it appears to be slowing down. Why is that? It's, it's not uh, It's not how it works. But uh, go go ahead. Go ahead. No, uh, that's a question. Why is it slowing down? <laughs> because gravity is still affecting it. But shouldn't it be affecting it less since it's getting it away from it? It does affect it less, yes. So the, the first derivative of, of, its, of, veloc of its acceleration is going down. Or sorry, the first derivative of its velocity is going down. So then why is it getting slower, though? It should be either staying the same or getting faster. It should not be getting faster because nothing is accelerating it. But it's like taking the brakes off. But why is it getting slower is what I'm asking. It's, it's like taking the brakes off when you're going across a flat surface. Like the Earth? You don't claim the Earth is flat there. You you forgot which it measures flat. You I'm forgot get to which point. you forgot which way you're pulling here. No, I know exactly where I'm pulling because uh, I'll get to that in a second. We're okay. the next slide actually. So another thing to help the globe earthers really get in their brain because I know a lot of them are. I talk to a lot of them. They're a lot of old people. They they're stuck in their ways. So if you want to get them to understand the new um, perspective, you have to show them what's really going on. All so right. when when it's a sunset, you think the sun is getting it's going down, right? Uh, the, the earth is rotating. And, right, but you think the sun drops so, below so yeah, the horizon. As, as we, as from, from where we're standing, from our, our uh, position, it, it appears to be going uh, lower. The sun is not setting. The sun is not going down. That's the sunset. The sun is not going down. The sun is going away from you, okay? But not in the uh, uh, the flat Earth sense where they're like, yeah, the sun's just going that direction. It's going, it's going into the left. butt. So the sun is inside this, the butt. Um, this is not a butt. This is how light bends. I I just bring I brought this up earlier with Einstein and how he was wrong. Doug Darrow says proven that light bends upwards. So that's how light behaves. And what, when you're looking at the sun, it's really going around the circle. So it is going away from you. But the light is also traveling in that same curve direction. So it's going to look, it's going to appear like the sun is flatly going away from you. So well, if you're a globe earther. It's good to see that the person that posed for that diagram on the bottom left does not have piles. Because the piles are now gone. Because now we have the protons and electrons. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're learning. Yep. Okay. That's amazing. That's amazing that you're learning right now. Because a lot of globe earthers are stuck in their ways. But do you understand how the sun is not actually setting? The sun is going away from you, but it looks like it's setting because of optical illusions. Is that a yes? <laughs> I don't know. Yo, why are you laughing at me this whole time, bro? Okay, okay I don't you're know. laughing. What do you, I don't know what, do you what direction wrong? this this demonstration is pulling right now. Just tell me what you think is wrong, and I can debunk it right now. Um. No, I, I, uh, I, <laughs> I'm just, I'm laughing because it certainly does look like the, the sun there is somewhere nestled deeply inside the butt. That's an illusion. That's an uh, optical oh, good. illusion. I'm glad, glad that the sun is not truly inside the butt. It's just illusory inside okay, the butt. Okay. Okay. Well, I see you're, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's funny. Bro. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, Okay. You're not going to be laughing when I get into this, dude. You're going to be crying because we're about to debunk Globe Earth. Okay. To debunk Globe Earth as a concave earther, you can use flat Earth arguments. So you can pull out your flirt bingo if you want because we're about to go through them right now. Look at this. We have three arguments that we can use to disprove the globe and prove concave at the same time. The Earth measures flat, the gas pressure in a vacuum, and the electromagnetic field around the Earth. Okay. Awesome. Let's start with number one then. 
All right. The Earth measures flat. This is where I'm trying to get into my uh, other tabs here. But this little zoom thing is in the way. How do I get rid of the zoom thing? Point is, Earth ain't got no curve. It's highlighted right here. Earth ain't got no curve. I see that. Okay? Which it has proved that to you, but you chose to run away from the evidence in the debate with him. I seen it. What you cannot when, hide. What did? What was? How did he prove that? Uh, look at this. The specular reflection on a flat surface is impossible if it's a globe. Um. <clears throat> Dude, says you, who? Okay. Says who? <laughs> Where's? Where's the geometry? Anyway, well, uh, quick, I'll go over that. This this looks like the person was not, uh, the photograph was taken from a pretty low uh, elevation, maybe six feet up. So probably all that we're seeing is uh, three miles away. And in three miles, there's 0 0.05 degrees of curve. So uh, do you think that you could see 0 0.05 degrees of curve? That's what, the flyer, or that's what the, the Globe Earth are saying when they say they saw an airplane somehow. Um, but what I'm saying is the shadows in the water, do you see the shadows in the water? They would be, um, are, they wouldn't be exact. Those are reflections. Same thing. A shadow is a reflection yeah. of yourself from no. light. So it's the same thing. So, yeah. So, um, and it, so, so at, with, and well, there is less than 0 0.05 degrees of curvature from the base of that mountain to the peak of the reflection of the mountain. So maybe let's let's say it's a 0 0.02 degrees of curve. How did you measure that there wasn't uh, the appropriate amount of distortion for 0 0.02 degrees of curve? If you go on Photoshop, you can see that the reflections are perfectly parallel. Sweet. All right. Let's see it. Pull it up. Pull up Photoshop. Let's see it. Well, I don't I don't have Photoshop, but Witsit did it for me. Oh, Witsit did it for you. And and the twenty four seven globe because Wizard has because Wizard has Photoshop probably does bro I don't know he's got to debunk the globe and they use Photoshop so why wouldn't he um, also this is a flight manual flight dynamic summary and they said they assume the Earth is flat and non rotating but this is this is not supporting us but the flat Earth part the even the government who controls the planes that go around the world says the earth is flat and you're going to disagree with the government uh well i'm unaware that that the government controls the planes i thought it was more of the uh the you know the individual airlines well ever since 9 11 the government put its hand in the planes with the hand in the planes regulation and all that but uh, how do you debunk that it says that the earth is flat in the flight man oh oh um well what's the third thing down what's that say Constant mass. Do airplanes have constant mass? Yeah. No. Uh, what's the fourth thing down? A rigid body. Do uh, aircraft have rigid bodies? What does that mean? Like, it does it have a square body? No, it's like it doesn't flex like your limp pickle does. Doesn't move. <laughs> doesn't right. Um, your limp pickle does this. But, well, but it is this rigid. says this says that the aircraft doesn't do that. It's rigid. The only part the only part of the aircraft that moves is the gears when you the wings you the down. wings flex uh for example. Um it says there are no rotating masses like turbines. Do airplanes not have rotating masses? That's and talking then, about the earth. Sure. And then do you and the bottom one constant wind so it so so uh is wind constant? I love this. This is a good. This is a good uh, example. Thank you. Well, wind when you're in the air is just you going past the air particles so fast that they have to. So yes, there's always constant wind when you're moving through the air at that high speed. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I don't know where you're poing with this, but let's let's see it. Where I'm poing? Yeah. What is poing? Sorry, sorry. Where are you going with this? Oh, I'm going that it says it's flat right, right there. And also, okay, here, I, I got more evidence, don't worry, I got evidence for days, dude, I, I just, I went on the 24-7 Flat Earth Discord server, so we found all the uh, non-curved yeah, they, evidence. They're, they're super good at evidence. Here we go. You see that? 52 miles away. You're going to say refraction, are you going to say refraction? I'm going to say a few things. First of all, it's not 52 miles away. Second, they did, they assumed that the, uh, the camera was half submerged in the water.
Um, but do go on. Huh? What do you mean? The camera's not in the water. I know, but they but they did the math as if it is. Not true. The the city was fifty two miles away. Why do you not trust? Okay, so you trust NASA <laughs> to give you pictures, but you don't trust a flat earther who did it themselves. Uh, <clears throat> well, the flat earther didn't take this picture. <clears throat> The bottom corner of the the uh, photo had the photographer's name on it originally, but it was removed uh, by see. probably Flat Earthers, Joshua Nowicki. It's in the bottom right corner, but it's gone. And you can is see Joshua a Glober? He is. is Joshua Glober or Kong yes, Caver? He's a he Glober. Flat. He's a Glober, and he was not 52 miles away. Okay, then we probably can't use this as evidence. Probably can't. Yeah. Um, the, ne the next one is better, though. I'm sure you've seen these videos, right? It, and it's so crazy how people will say they saw it in an airplane. I, I was just in an airplane looking out, and I saw the curve of the Earth. Like you're on a hey, tiny, click, like, click mini that, planet. Click from that Mars. little button there to make it a little larger. That, uh, right though, not that one. The third from the, right, the left. Go left. My left. Left. Right there. Theater mode. There you go. Hit that. There you go. Look at that nice. curve. All right. Anyway, so yeah, curve of the Earth right there. That's not curving. That's not curving. That's flat. You would think the curve would be bigger because he's higher up. <laughs> okay, dude, you're going to laugh. I actually say no, what's wrong with it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you do you love it because it's evidence? Look at that. Where's the curve? Show me where the curve is. Point uh, it out. Yeah, just a second where? here. All right, had, had a had a, a a troll in the uh, the live chat that needed to be uh, dealt with. Okay, anyway, yep, yeah, no, yeah, well, yep. Yeah, okay, go ahead, keep going. Where's the curve at? I'm 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 actually curious. Where's the curve at? Does this look curved? I'll tell you what. Send me the URL there. I got you to the video, and I'll uh, I'll fire it up in Photoshop right now because I I do have Photoshop. There you go. All right, you sent it on uh, Discord there. All right. <laughs> and you got to remember the cameras. The camera is a fish lens as well, so it's going to appear well, a little well bit curved. But the actual thing is not curved. If it's a fish lens, but I'm talking about the full body of it is not curved. It's just the edge of it. Why is only the edge curving? <laughs> of a fish lens. <laughs> Dude. You know, the problem with fish lenses is if is if you let them go, like, if you don't keep them cool, they'll start to smell pretty bad. Right? My girlfriend had a fish lens. Ah. Uh, well, nobody believes you had a girlfriend, but uh, that's a different story for a different day. Excuse me, dude. I take cold showers every day, man. My game is on peak. It's on fleek. I'm probably I, raising up the girls in your live stream I, right now. I, I, I don't know what what taking a shower just, every day a is, cold is shower. The resp a full shower. Sorry. No, a cold shower. A cold. Oh, water. a cold shower. A cold, so that it you don't get hard. I can handle pain. Bro, okay, dude. I'm probably raising up the girls. I send my Instagram Esau Wright E S A U Wright on Instagram. They're probably looking through all my pictures like, whoa, this guy's amazing. I probably got a few DMs right now. I could check them, but I don't want to dox them right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> Bro, I'm I'm a, I'm a good guy like that. All right. So that <laughs> all right, that video does show curve. <laughs> okay. But you have Photoshop? Yes. You, you pulled it up? Yes. Let me see. All right, hold on. Let me look at your screen. All right. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to export it. So I, I, I took a screenshot and I will, I'm going to save it and then uh, pull it up on screen. It's not, it's not much, screen. it's not much curve, but it is, uh, it is curve. Uh, let's see. Do I, do I stop sharing my screen? Uh, yeah, just a second. You know what? I'll send it. Yeah. Uh, I'll pull it up on the screen. Hold on. And uh, uh my YouTube channel, by the way, Mosiah Taylor. I guess I got one Christian video on there. Mosiah. 
Mosiah Taylor. What, what's Mosiah? Mosiah is like, um, you know when the little glass and it's like in shards? Yeah? Yeah. You mean mosaic? I can make... Yeah, but I, I couldn't spell that. But no, I mean YouTube wouldn't let me put that. That's a, like I couldn't spell it on the actual name, so I put Mosiah Taylor. Okay, dude. All right. Can I see the curve? It's coming just a second. <laughs> dude, you're making me laugh over here, man. But it's not funny. He couldn't spell it. It wouldn't let me. I'm saying that YouTube wouldn't let me put it. I can spell it. M I, I'm M going. A. I, oh, yeah. How do you spell it? M A. Keep going. YouTube wouldn't let me put it on there. That's why I couldn't do it. All right, sure, sure. All right. Yeah. I'm good. Let me see the curve. It's coming. All right. You see the There alien? you, there you go. There you see it there. No, what am I looking at? Where's the curve? All right, there it is. There's the curve. The blue line? Yeah. The So line the blue, is straight. the blue line is straight, and then the horizon is is uh, above it. There, and you can see on the 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 left side and the right side, it's closer than in the middle. It's it's raised up. I see it. My laptop's in the way. Your your laptop's in the way. I got it hooked up to my TV. The laptop on the, is on the TV. Okay. Because I was on a call with my e-girlfriend. I threw a lighter at the screen and it broke my entire laptop screen. So I couldn't see anything on the laptop. So I had to hook it up with the TV. You were on on a call with your e girlfriend. <laughs> it sounds bad, bro. Just it does, yeah. Um, it certainly yo, does. why are you why are you dogging on me? I bet I have more money. Than you. I'm gonna have more money. Than you. How much do you make? As a you're like a software engineer, right? That's Something, like eighty k a year. something like that. Yeah, somewhere I'm in gonna there. be making two hundred k in this summer doing door to door sales. Are you gonna be hating then? Uh, well, no, because you're gonna fly me out so that I can have this uh, this bench press competition with you. Yes, I'm looking sir. forward to I'm it. pulling my Mustang. What Pulling about up my a Mustang? Mustang. I got another girl at UC Davis, a real one, a real girl at UC Davis, who said if I pull up in a Mustang, she will date me. But I don't see the curve in that picture. That curve is not in the picture. Okay. It's just a straight line. And everyone at home can see it's a straight line. So I don't know why you're trying to uh, basically lie to them almost. They can see it. Uh, all right. So, all right. Got it. What's, what's next? Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna keep going with your, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, um, why yeah, do you you're have not going to get away that easy. <laughs> all right. Oh my gosh. Curve easily debunked. Oh, hold on I don't a second. know if you It's, can hear it's it. not showing just yet. I got to get it. I got to, there we go. Okay. I'm still one. I'm still a little bit of a loss of how, how, uh, evidence for flat earth is evidence for concave. It, I, I, I'm missing that one still. Okay. Uh, I'll, it's in the next slide. But as you can see, this this laser, they have a bunch of laser experiments they did where they, I'm sure you know, I don't have to explain it to your audience, right? Or should I? Uh, you do definitely need to explain how flat earth evidence somehow magically is also concave earth evidence. I definitely Do you see want my to paint? hear how you pull that together. Do you see my paint? I do. Okay. So as you can see, I'm going to explain the experiment they did and how it proves concave as well. So they had the, let's say this is your globe earth, even though it's red, like a lava planet or something. They put a laser and they went away. They went like 20 miles that way, right? And they could still see the laser, which is not possible. If this guy was standing, if this is you, McToon, and you're standing right here, That and looks the laser just like is just me. going to go, I don't know, and like the other one, right? Yeah. It's just going to go straight through the earth. But it, since it was flat, the laser, they can see it because the earth is flat. So how does that prove us? That proves that the globe is not true. Okay. That proves that at least the globe isn't true. So now we're down to two options, flat earth 
or concave earth and i can explain oh no there's there's earth another earth. option there's they what? suck at doing experiments that, that's a good option but they have, there's 30 whole minutes of it one of them has to be right one of them has to be done right <laughs> Dude, there's 30 minutes of it. How are you going to deny this entire video? And it's multiple different people doing the experiment, multiple different people who are globe earthers, and then they turn flat earthers. So they weren't biased. Oh, my God. Oh my God. All right, this is good. Okay, keep going. Oh, my God. Okay. The earth ain't flat, or the earth ain't curved. Oh, yeah, look at this sun video, too. Do you see in the right? Yep. This, the sun I is going it. away from you. It's not going down. It's going away from you. That's why it looks like it's going down because the optical illusion. Africa time left. They took this in probably Zimbabwe or something as they were probably giving Zimbabwe. The kids something to eat. Yeah. They were giving the kids something to eat. And then the kids were like, is the earth the globe? And See, then you know what? I was thinking not. about that 30 minute video you were just mentioning. I know I've seen at least an hour video from for the globe. So that means that the earth is a globe then since it's more than 30 minutes. At least one minute of, must be. At least two minutes must be right, right? It's an hour of lies. An hour of lies. To counter the flat earthers, the I just Earth want to make sure. Spherical. I just want to make sure Doug is okay with this. This is all Doug, Doug me approved. And, bro, me and Doug were Karate Kid training this last night. We were just going back and forth. He was prepping me. I'm his lackey, bro. I got to get this right. Got it. Okay. Is it, Doug has the more science. I'm just trying to give it in the layman terms because Globe Earthers don't understand the science. So I'm trying to give them the layman terms, right? Well, Doug they didn't have the, the science, earth. but but I want to be clear. Doug did not have the science. He did. He brought in the experiments with the interferometer and the mirage, which he finished already. And it did do what the hypothesis said. There was a mirage in the vacuum chamber. So the light did bend upwards. That was okay. him doing the science right there. But, but when he was on with me, he was very confused about about how uh you know all protons would be stuck together and all electrons would be somewhere else stuck together um that's because of the entanglement do you understand what he meant by the entanglement um nope is that the ethers it's kind of like dude if we go back to the analogy earlier um with the wooden plane actually i'm not going to derail here we're just going to go to the spherical earth okay Okay. Uh, right. The way the way to prove it to a flat earther. So now I debunk the globe. So now the flat earthers are going to come and say, "Well, the Earth is flat." So, but this is how we debunk the flat earthers. We're kind of fighting on two fronts, like Germany, right? I'm not saying that we're Nazis, but okay. Okay. Well, we believe we believe that you actually can see the Earth like this in the photo if you go high enough. So the video I showed you earlier was not high enough to see the Earth like this. But if you were to go like wherever NASA went, the moon, supposedly, then you would be able to see the Earth looking like that. But that's not because it's a sphere. That's because of how light works. And you notice that you can only see half the Earth. Here. You see this demonstra uh, demonstration on the left? Is that is that me again? Well, Doug drew that one. That could be anyone. I oh. That might be him. Get a little hair. But um, as you can see, the horizon would be anything that is above that line that curved line and anything that's below would be hidden but imagine if you were in a rocket ship and you went all the way up not a lot of the earth would be hidden from you so you would be able to see a good majority of the earth and because you see how it's curving right here it would appear curved it would appear as a circle okay, I drew um it should be on the yeah right there on the right side that's what it would appear if you were on the moon because of the left side diagram right here Do you have any questions? I have so many questions. <laughs> All right, we'll get to, we'll get to the math of this. Okay. Okay. This is the second argument: gravity in a vacuum chamber. Every time I go on a on a flat Earth server, they always have the same debate going on. No one, both sides are wrong. That's what this illustration here. This is the flat Earther wits it, and this is you saying gravity is a container. Gravity is a container. Where's the container? Gravity is not the container. Let me explain why. To the next uh, oh, slide. All right. The, what gravity is is centripetal force. So the electrons are spinning, and remember how earlier we're all connected to an electron, each proton, which means that the entire Earth is Wait, spinning at the same time. Are we each a proton, or are we many protons? What, your many protons connect, and each proton inside of you is connected to an electron. And what connects the proton and the electron? The ether. 
Okay. Jesus and, Christ. Like, and and what keeps the protons from flying away from each other that are me? Because I'm You mean like Apparently I'm I'm them... I'm only made of protons, right? Is that what you're saying? And neutrons. And, and neutrons. neutrons. So then so what the the electrical charge of the protons would repel. So why does that not happen? Because what you think is charge, which is in the old atom, is like uh, if it has this many electrons in the atom, it's charged, or if it has negative, it's charged or whatever. But in this, what charge is in this diagram is just the connection, the ether between the electrons and protons. So that's what charge is in this diagram. So, so you can't use your old diagram and say it doesn't apply here. So so the charge, so, so the, the ether keeps the protons together and the ether also keeps the protons and electrons apart. It's a spring. Yes. Okay. Do you remember the spring earlier? I I do. Uh, the spring is what keeps them apart, the electrons and the protons. You're asking how the protons stay apart? Because the centrifugal force, as you can see, is bringing them together. Right? When you spin a... Um, you know how they have that... In Africa, there's a lot of diseases like Ebola and all that. So they have that little thing they spin. In. So when you drink the water, you don't get Ebola. No. The centrifugal thing. You don't know about that? That, that, doesn't, doesn't, mark... that doesn't get the, the Ebola out of the water. Well, it, 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 the density of the bacteria will go to the end. So you can test if the water has Ebola or not, right? Oh. Uh, so like I, flat I, earthers I say. I, I suppose you could centrifuge stuff like that. I don't know. Gravity is, I, I made a very good example right here. If gravity is like going on a merry-go-round and making it go 90,000 miles an hour, all the heavy children would go towards the edge and the skinny ones would stay near the center. So all the <laughs> um, the dead weight is the neutrons. Th those are the heavier atoms, like what Earth is made of, right? They go towards the edge. Whereas the skinnier ones, the electrons, they don't have a lot of, um. Uh, yeah, the electrons wait, are in the center. Wait, wait say that about the... <laughs> But it's such a Dude, force why you, again. Why are you laughing, man? Okay. Um, do you know what centrifugal force is? A cent centrifugal or centripetal? Which one? It says centripetal on on your screen there. Aren't they the same thing? No. It's like different. I don't. I'm not a scientist. Doug is a scientist. I'm putting Doug this in layman's terms. Doug is a scientist. He is. He got his PhD. Bro, Doug is more of a scientist than you. He went three years of college of physics. And you have not gone a single year of College all, of Physics. All three <laughs> years. He went to all three years of college. Well, he could have went the fourth, but I don't think he could afford it. But that's why I'm going to, uh, he's getting a research grant from NASA so he can do his experiments on a larger scale. But you don't have a single <laughs> year in physics. How are you going to say he's not a scientist? Why Why do you think I don't have any physics? You're a software engineer. <laughs> you make like video I, games and websites. I, I make neither, but but I in at university well, you don't know what I study at university. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. Well, to become a software, you have to study software development at university. That was certainly right? something I studied. So why why are you trying to deny this? Are you lying? No, I, I also I I I may or may not have also taken physics classes and other classes. Did you pass? Did you pass the yeah, class? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Doug yeah. passed three classes. So. That's good for him. Um, okay, so the, the flat earthers are right, basically, when they say gravity is density. Here's another thing they're right about. Wait, oh, I'm they sorry. I, it's a flat. I missed the part where you said, so, so which direction does centripetal force uh, uh, on this model here? We, we, is, it, your... is it not centripetal, bro? Well, there's right. centrifugal and centripetal, so... So it, you have centripetal on screen. So which direction does centripetal force go in this, um, in your diagram? It's going here? outwards. It's going outwards. That's why the electrons, that's why the protons went outwards. No, well, dude, it might've been, it might've been Google Slides messed it up. I made this it, slideshow at like 3 a.m. with Doug. So I don't uh, know if yeah, I messed it up or it's not. Probably somebody hacked your, your, uh, okay, your account hacked and it. changed centrifugal <laughs> to centripetal. Yeah, I'm not okay. saying they hacked it. I'm yeah, saying that they Google probably slides it. they misread it when I typed it in. Yeah, you typed the you typed centrifugal, but somehow Google Slides put in centripetal, even though you typed an F. Well, I do my homework on here, out. so it might have Yeah. 
I do my homework on here, so I might have yeah. just done yeah, I that. Mean, if um, you don't want to type an F and then P comes out. Right? What word is what word is that talking about? Wait, F and P puck? No, no, no. Because if you're typing centrifugal. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. What? And you, you type the F, C E N T R I F, and out comes P. Yeah, I got you, bro. Okay. And hey, never mind. There you go. Hey, good job. Good job. There's a couple so other gravity. Yeah, there's is density. There's more gravity than one. Gravity is density. There, yeah, there's another. The more one that you, what? There's another one you missed down in the paragraph there. In in parentheses. That one. Yeah, you gotta edit that. Yep. See, I told you. Look, there. the red line, dude. Yep. Wait. See, I told, yeah, it's doing the central. Okay, centric. You go. Okay. There you go. Good job. Okay, so gravity is density. Can we agree on that? No. So you think gravity is, and I knew you were going to say no, dude, I, you just fell for my trap card, fool. Look, I knew you were going to say no. This is why I had this prepared. You think gravity is mass attracting mass. Let me explain why that doesn't make sense, bro. So you're saying in a universe okay. with two neutrons, this is Jimmy Neutron, so I put him on the screen, <laughs> a universe with a universe with two neutrons, you're saying that they would, they would magically form enough energy to fly towards you. Look, I got the animation going right there. They would fly towards each other. Dude, you're laughing at yourself. I love you're it. laughing it's at so your own good. theory. It's so good. Okay. Oh my gosh. You're laughing at your own theory right now, though. <laughs> they they would create more. You're saying they would create more energy, dude. Oh oh my together. God. That, would I... Newton. <laughs> that would violate Newton's first law. The first law of thermodynamics. Of course. <laughs> Bro, why? Okay, I can't, dude. I can't be serious if you keep laughing. No. Okay, actually, that, that's fine, bro. Let's have fun here. Um, because that was a crazy, silly theory you thought of. You want to see it again, bro? Yep. Look at this. I want to see. I want to see the two <laughs> neutrons attracting each other. Look at that. Look at that. This is what you believe. This is what you believe. This is a religion. This isn't science. This is based on faith. Bro, explain that. Explain that. <laughs> Isaac Newton would be shocked right now. So that's why gravity is not mass attracting mass. It would have been better if you had a different picture up there, like uh, Abraham Lincoln. What, what does he have to do with this? I, it would have been a better picture. Physics? Was he a physicist? Do you just like Abraham Lincoln more? Uh, like Abraham, Abraham Lincoln? Lincoln? Are you calling him a beta? He was alpha. I don't know what you're talking about. Alpha. You called Abraham Lincoln a beta male, but he was alpha male. No, I didn't. You said beta Lincoln. I said Abraham Lincoln. Beta Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so how do you explain that? If you think gravity is mass attracting mass, you think that the neutrons would fly towards each other and violate Newton's first law of thermodynamics. Uh, I don't think Newton had a first law of thermodynamics. Yes, he did. I looked it up. Okay. Law, law of conservation of energy. That is the first law, but it wasn't Newton. Dynamics. Yeah, it wasn't Newton. Newton's first law is a different one. No, no it is Newton. Dude. You're not going to give me on this. I looked it up, dude. I literally looked it up last night. Hold it. Okay. How do I get a zoom thing off? Okay. Yeah, just just uh, go over, um, just yeah. Newton type Newton's first, first law. law of thermodynamics. There you go. And look right there. What does that say, bro? Conservation of energy. I knew it. I knew yeah, it. But see, I knew you weren't a click, physicist. Click on the laws. Of, click on the laws of thermodynamics there. Now just search this page for Newton. I knew you weren't a physicist if you didn't know Newton made this law. Even Wikipedia, which is not a good source, knows it. Just find Newton on that page then. Just type uh, control F and Newton. Oh, it's not on there. But then why did it show up when it when I typed it in Google? Google knows. Because, oh, I'm not gonna, oh my gosh. All right, keep going, keep going. How do you explain this? How do I explain what? The right. neutrons in the, if it was two neutrons in a blank universe, just two neutrons, you're saying that they would magically come together with the Jimmy Neutron jetpacks and yep. they would make more energy, 
but that would violate Newton's first law. If you say so. All right. Explain it. It's a question. <laughs> Leslie, your problem is that you're taking them seriously. <laughs> All right, keep going. Newton is to be taken seriously. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know which direction See, you're no, pulling. You're pulling, but let's let's keep let's keep uh, moving forward. See, you are just like with Witsy. I give you the evidence right here, the direct evidence, and you're running away. You want what? Do you want to get to it after? Are you going to get to it after? Or are you just going to go to something else? Uh, get to what after? The fact that you think that gravity works like this. Yes, it does. <laughs> what, bro? Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. And you said All you right. pass physics. And uh, this is how gravity works. Well, <laughs> You're laughing they, they at would, yourself. They, they would crash into each other, I suppose. They wouldn't. <laughs> They're not ghosts. So is is Newton just wrong? Is he wrong? No, he's, he's totally right. So you're wrong then? No. So who's wrong? Are you both right? Because that yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. There's nothing contradictory. This is contradicting. No, it's not. This is contradicting Newton. No, they're it's making not. more energy as they get closer. Where's the energy coming from? Uh, no, the, the, energy energy, from? the total energy is staying the same. You want me to explain it? Yeah, yeah. All right. So go back to neutrons. There, the the neutrons. All right. So there, there's a distance between them. There is a gravitational potential between the two of them. That's directly proportional to uh, the amount of uh, um, mass of these neutron neutrons. What is mass? What is mass? Uh, well, I mean, the, the the technical term is about um, a momentum, but you just say it's it's how much stuff mm -hmm. is in something. So no, no, no. both of these neutrons, both of these Jimmy neutrons, have you know a bunch of stuff, multiple kilograms of stuff. This is how the flat earthers got me, so I'm going to use it on you. What is mass specifically? Inertia? Uh, it, it's resistance to acceleration. And so resistance to acceleration attracts resistance to acceleration? No. But that's what you believe. You said gravity's well, mass attracting mass. Yeah. <laughs> So if you think mass, yeah, if you think mass is gravity um, resisting acceleration, then mass directed yeah, mass it, is. It doesn't resisting work to just do a, a a find and replace of the words. I, I gave you a, a you know a, a couple word description of it, but if you really want to have a, a full understanding of it, you know you'd you'd want to have some prerequisites covered and then take an actual physics class. So. Well, explain it like I'm a layman because that's what I'm doing for the viewers at home. What if they don't know what mass is? Uh, let, let's just go back to mass is, is uh, how much stuff is in something. That's that's fine. And the neutron is stuff? Yeah, the neutron is stuff. So where's the energy? So the energy is the uh, potential energy. And in this case, it's the gravitational potential energy that each of them have because they have uh, they are separated from the other mass by a certain distance. But what makes them come together? Why is the gravitational... Have they proven that? Uh, that that mass attracts mass? Yes, that's been established. When when have they proven that? Uh, that mass attracts mass? Well, that yeah. was that was de determined by observing the motions of, of uh, planets in the solar system. Uh, of note Ooh. is Jupiter's moons. And Kepler determined that. And then uh, Newton formalized that more in his Principia. I'm going to pull a flurf on you. You can't look at the sky and tell me what's going on on Earth with gravity, okay? Wrong. Just because Jupiter has that's, moons doesn't mean wrong. anything. But but but, you, you... but uh, please do Poe on. Okay. Do you know the density of Jupiter? Uh, no, not offhand. But if we does wanted, anyone... we could look it up, I suppose. Does, does anybody, how would they know the density of, of some random planet out there? How would they know? Do you want, you want the answer? I can give you the answer. Well, from what I remember in science class, you had to weigh something, and then you had to know the um, atomic number of it, or the um, yeah, it was the atomic. No, to to determine the density of something, you need to know its mass and its volume. Right, the mass is okay. So, no. so the the oh, volume, oh. the volume of of Jupiter is known because we 
because we because in um, amongst other ways we we can uh, measure its angular size and we can measure the distance and so that tells us uh it's it's radius and it's thus its volume and we can determine its mass based on the periodicity of its orbit around the sun and its distance from the sun so that tells us the mass because there's only a certain uh, very narrow range that the mass can be in a certain orbit around the sun we know the mass of the sun because we have done um, <clears throat> because we know the velocity of the earth around the sun and we know the mass of the earth so that tells us the mass of the sun we know the mass of the earth because we have uh, measured the di the diameter radius circumference of the earth and uh, we've determined its average density cavendish and uh, that gives us the mass of the earth so all of that they're all all these things are are uh, based on previous uh, experiments and and work it's pretty cool so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you exactly what you just did wrong for the audience at home i asked you is matt how do you know mass attracts the mass okay so it's a question mass mass right you answered with uh jupiter jupiter's moons yeah because that's, Ju jupiter's yeah, moons that's, that's kind of the, the okay how, how people came into it give me a little history of of how these things were determined Cool. So, so Jupiter's moons is how we know that mass tracks mass. Okay. How do you know that the reason Jupiter's moons are around it are, is because of its mass? Well, if, if, uh, if somebody else has a, a good hypothesis, otherwise, then let's entertain that. Uh, -huh. yeah. it's just a theory. It can't be no, proven. It was a hypothesis that was then tested. Yeah. But they don't, they didn't get a scale and go measure Jupiter. They didn't get a ruler and go measure how big Jupiter is. So you, it's circular logic. Do you see how it's circular logic? You're saying, well, because mass tracks mass. But then I ask you, how do you know that? Jupiter, because you see how it's a circle? A circle, yeah. like a dragon. Yeah, it's one one line, one line of reasoning. Yeah. Well, it's not a line. It's a circle of reasoning. <laughs> circular All right. logic. All right. So you're not, you don't even have so, a rebuttal for so, that. You so just, get... you, your whole audience just saw you get circular reasoning. Uh. If you say so. Wow. Dude, you, so you're not even going to try to defend yourself. That's, in, bro, I'm not going to lie. That's embarrassing okay, look, to have circular reasoning in front of your audience. Have you, have you ever seen the, the moons of Jupiter? Like, have you no. looked through a, uh, a telescope of some sort and looked at the moons of Jupiter? No. No. I have, and uh, not much, but uh, I have uh, a bit, but certainly astronomers have been doing it for centuries romer for example was was one person that did that in 1670s and he had uh they had by the 1670s determined the orbits of the moons of jupiter to such precision that when there was an eight minute discrepancy romer identified that and and um published his findings on that eight minute discrepancy so the the movement of the the moons around Jupiter were well known a long time ago. So you you can then have a hypothesis that uh, mass attracts mass that that there's yeah. something attracting the moons to Jupiter. And and uh, so so yeah you hypothesize that this way and then you make some some predictions based on that. You say well if uh, if if this is the case then then uh, then the other other things will also exhibit similar behaviors so let's look at our own moon let's look at the moon of um, mars let's look at earth's orbit around the sun and and uh, test these these hypotheses that way i have another hypothesis okay it's that and i'll draw it out for you because i asked doug about this how did the planets get the orbits how he explained it was Let's say this is, uh, I don't know where really, the, I can't see the yellow. My laptop's blocking it. This is electrons, okay? They're in the center. Then let's talk about Jupiter. It's about Jupiter's moons, right? Let's make it red. Okay. So Jupiter, the reason Jupiter even exists is because the protons, the ether connecting the protons and the electrons, pull Jupiter out, right? So Jupiter is now floating around it, right? And the moons, just so happen to get pulled out, and the reason they're near Jupiter is because the same force, because you know how every proton has an electron attached to it, right? Um, via the ether, 
that is such a strong force right there that anything that came near it, including a human being or a moon, what let, let me draw the ether. This is like the ether right here between it's very strong, right? So anything that even came near it, like this moon, would also get pulled into the gravity and it would get pulled into um basically what is attracting Jupiter is attracting the moons. Does that make sense? This sounds like gravity, yeah. Right, but it's not mass attracting mass gravity. It is the ether gravity. Does that make sense? No. All you've okay. done is you just, put it, you just put a different word in there. But the thing is, it's not attracting mass. The reason why it makes sense is because if we go back to this analogy here. But, but why is neutrons it proportional would... to the mass? That's weird. That's just a coincidence. That doesn't oh. prove anything. Uh, just a okay, coincidence. Look, okay. The the Jimmy neutron in our in our model would not come together at all. The neutrons wouldn't even go near. So there's no ether to connect anything. You would need an electron and a proton, and then you'd have to have the godlike entity separate it. Jesus Christ would separate the electron. That's how you get them moving. But in your model, they just randomly fly towards each other like that. That's why my hypothesis makes way more sense than yours. But they're both hypothesis. I agree. They're both hypothesis. They haven't been proven, but neither neither is yours. And that's what Globe Earth is assumed to be true. Without evidence, it's a religion, like I said. No, no right? we we have we do have, we have evidence, but uh, prove isn't something that we seek. That's something that pseudoscientists think they have. So only pseudoscientists prove stuff. No, pseudoscientists don't prove stuff, but they think they do. Okay, so I think the audience has seen this absolute massacre on gravity. So we can just move on to the second one. Which it actually gave me this one. The guy who ran, I think he ran for me on this actual. Um, he probably did debate thing. He probably did. Yeah. It, it was all right. He muted me on this debate thing because I was about to bring up the most epic points ever. But let me play this video for you real quick. It's going to explain the electrical field and how it does not make sense on a sphere, but it does make sense on a concave earth. I got to get rid of this. Zone. Okay. I had to get rid of the zoom. It's your, it's your computer, dude. What? Oh, you can move it. Okay. Um, can you hear it? Uh, happily, no. Okay, can I, can I give you the link and you can play it? Nah. Okay, basically what's happening, I can give you, a, there's an image in this video. So basically, okay. the ground has zero volts, right? But every meter you go up, the voltage increases by a hundred volts. How is it? Let, let's look at which it's questions. This is the diagram for anybody at home. This is basically what we're talking about here. Um, these are which it's questions right here that he asked me um, that I answered on a call. Okay. But how do you explain these two questions? Why is it a gradial that um, on an earth would be a gradial distribution a or radial distribution? Radial distribution. Ra radial, radial radial distribution but why is it linear it's not linear, linear. it's not linear that was easy so you just say things but you don't oh no i have a citation prove. okay what is it i my citation is the exact same thing that wits it refers to the video no no all right go 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 new tab go new tab there type Feynman lectures All right, there you go. Click that first link there. All right, scroll down to volume, uh, I think it's volume two. All right, and then section nine. So chapter nine, there you go. And then go to the very bottom of this nine dash one. See, look, 100, yep. 200, exactly. 300. Keep going, keep going. Linear. You asked me a question, I'm answering it. Right there, stop, stop. All right. You got to 9-2, so go just above 9-2, the paragraph before 9-2. Keep going up right there. There you go. So, having suggested how we can measure the electric field in the atmosphere, now we continue to our description of it. Measurements show, first of all, that the field continues to exist but gets weaker as one goes up to high altitudes. By about 50 kilometers, the field is very small. All right, so go back to your previous tab there. And uh, what was Witsit's question? 
Can you Which find the question? The question was, why does it go up and why is it not a radial uh, distribution? Right, so this is the bottom one. The bottom question. Why is the electric voltage gradient on the Earth linear? It is. It varies. He says it's consistent. It, it's not. Why does the electric voltage mean, gradient increase away from the surface of the Earth? It decreases. But why is the why is, does the voltage go up? Go back to the paper, the uh, the Feynman lecture. Feynman goes further in section nine two there, explains how it happens. It's ions uh, coming from cosmic rays. Right there. Oh, so they made up a whole magical theory about cosmic rays and all this. So they can't prove again. More things they can't prove, and they just say that's the explanation, right? Uh, they can uh, things that are testable. How do you test a cosmic ray? Well, oh, the Rubik's cube. I'm sorry, the Rubik's cube was loud. I was messing with it. So, that, is right. that how you test the cosmic ray? Because that would make a lot of sense, actually, on the no. globe model. Uh, I don't know offhand how uh, how people have tested cosmic rays, but uh, oh, you know what? I do. Picard did it. August Picard did. So you could look up some of his experiments. They also did it in the balloon from 1935. I yep. What I tell you, bro? I told you it was a fantasy because you're literally referring to Star Trek, dude. August Picard. Yeah, this guy, the captain. Wait, not captain not Spock. not Jean Luc. Dude, I don't know where you're poing with this, but uh, but it's funny. What was his name? Picard, right? August Picard. This guy. There, there you go. There you go. So this guy measured. Is that what he measured the cosmic rays in? I think one of the things he was testing was that. Um, I can. Uh, there's another one. That's uh, just a second. Um, I'll get his name for you in a second. That that I'm that definitely did. It was. He went up. He went up in a balloon similar to Picard. It was Captain Albert Stevens, November 11, 1935. Did that, Captain Albert Stevens? He went up to about seventy-two thousand feet. There you go. There's the picture there. And the, and yeah, this the, measured the, the center, cosmic rays. The center picture. The center picture shows the curve of the Earth there. But uh, yeah, that balloon there was uh, one of the things they were measuring was cosmic rays. How, with the balloon, they just said, yep, here's a cosmic ray, balloon. Pretty sure that's exactly the methodology. Yep, good job. And it, that would make sense on the globe Earth, I'm not going to lie, bro, because they just assume things and say they're true and run with it, like the Jupiter, mass, moon, stuff. Right. So it, it, he went up in a balloon and said, mm, it, it's hot up here, so here, cosmic rays. I, I'm actually asking, hot. I don't know the answer. Hot. Well, I don't know the answer. I'm just trying to make hypotheses to it help was, you out. It was not hot. It was cold. That there means cosmic go. rays are cold. All right. There you go. Finish that. Uh, it means that the, the, the temperature up there is cold. So they did. Yeah, they tested cosmic rays. They they uh, in, discovered some. So if you're interested, you could you could go look up some of the results from uh, Albert Stevens and see what see what, how how it was done and what the results were. Um, okay. Is it like the other globe earth science where they just say something happened? Nope. Go, go look it up. And then, uh, after you've read it, we can, you could come back and we could talk about it. Okay. So I'll review real quick. Okay. You just went through these three arguments and what I've seen so far, I'm being liberal here with my, um, review is that you just dodged every piece of evidence I gave you and assumed things to be true, which were not true. So with that, uh, I'm going to go to the final slide. This is how I feel right now after slam dunking on Google Earth. <laughs> Doug, I did it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so That's what are your, what are your questions on what are your questions on concave Earth? Uh, well, we've got some questions from the audience. Would you like to hear them? Are they from the Discord server? No, they're from the 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 live uh, the live audience here on YouTube. The six hundred and forty people watching you right now. Hey, go to my Instagram, Esau Right. You're gonna join the cult. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. Yeah. 
Join the cult. I, I love that you admit it's a cult. All right. Do you want to you want to stop your share so people can see you answer well, the, the questions? A, a cult just means that it's not popular yet to become mainstream. That's what a cult it's means. Definitely not the definition of cult. Christians but, were okay. considered a cult when they started in Rome. So you said stop sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So so questions. Cool, right, we'll, we'll start at the beginning here. Uh, see, Ryan is a new member. Thank you for that, Ryan. We got Lord Illuminus Poos's Thanks, bed, Ryan. bed question. Atuni is an agent in the Toon Army. So I have a poll. I have a poll going right now. Maybe maybe you could uh, chime in on your your option. Um, uh, do you think that that uh, if you were if you were a member of uh, you know kind of not a member but like a fan of the channel then that would like to, to watch these videos, would you would you choose to be a member of the Toon Army or would you say that you're a Toonie, like the Goonies, the Toonies? Which one? Mm, that's a good question, actually. Toonies, it, it's ridiculous, um, but Globe Earth is ridiculous anyway, so you might as well go with Toonies. But if you want to actually sound strong and have a good cult following, um, I would go with Toon Army, all right? Because it's Army, we're strong, all right? We, yeah, we bench more than 135. 135 people. More than that. For five reps, five sets. All right. Five uh, reps, five sets. <laughs> Lord Illuminus Poo says, I am a Toonie. We are in the Toon Army. Get it right. Um, they said I wasn't a Mormon. They said I wasn't a Mormon in the Discord server. I literally got the Book of Mormon. And it's highlighted, too. I mean, I, I got I got one down there, too. It's just, That's fine. I, I don't I don't... You don't need to... Prove that you're a Mormon, I guess, unless... And look, we are Christians. Look at what the first page of the uh, book has. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we are Christians. I, uh, I'm aware of the claim. All right. Um, what do you mean claim, bro? What do you mean claim? I'll go get the missionaries on you right now. Har oh, Arnold. Arnold says, this guy's a terrible Poe. Tell him to watch some Mallory debates and learn from the master. What is a Poe? What is this inside little quip joke I'm not aware of? Uh, never mind. Uh, Poe's never no, po? know what Poe's never know what Poe means. Lord like Illuminus Panda. Lord Illuminus Poe says, "Question for the concaver: Where is Voyager?" Voyager is out in space. It's the same place you think it is, but except space is inside the Earth, so it's going more towards I, the. Center. I have it. I have it right here behind me. Here, I'll. I'll uh... You have the concave. I have. You? I have Voyager right here. There's Voyager. Uh, printed to, uh, for me by Neil. Thank you, Neil. Oh yeah, it just it flew back into uh, McToon's room for the no, debate. No, it's it's just it's just a three D printed model. It's not the real Voyager. Real Voyager is a little bigger. Really? Yeah. Well, not uh, anymore because it's so far away. The light is bending and making it look smaller. <laughs> or the light's slowing down because of the changing altitude, so it would look smaller. So that actually could be the size of it now. Uh, nope. Ryan says, thank Titty Kaka. It's Toons Day. Enjoy enjoying watching this Poe. There you go. And Ryan has oh. a Rubik's Cube uh, that looks like this, sort of, on uh, for his uh, emoji. Right, his I'm looking emoji. up what Poe means. All right. Poe's Law. Poe's Law is what you want. Poe's Law? Like Kung Fu Panda? Uh, a different Poe, different spelling. Uh, Lord Illuminous Poe says, do you even school, bro? No, I dropped out and got my GED because I'm going to be making a lot more money doing door-to-door -door sales, 200000 in commission, and that's more than all you old heads who tell me to go to school are ever going to make, okay? Poe's, I don't give what Poe's law is. It's impossible to create a parody fundamentalism, someone who will mistake the real thing. There's a lot of big words. And there it's just you go. Yeah, sense. big words. Uh, MK Ultra says HBO's next show, Boing, is the new Titty Kaka. Oh, I don't, well, what sound does a spring make? Boing, boing. Uh, yeah, Boing. It's just for alliteration. Onomatopoeia. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, um, what's next? Uh, and what's next? Jim, Jiffy Jiffold says, this guy's taking the piss. Hope it's not Santos's. Hey, Jiff. No, not Jiff. Oh. Piss. 
Uh, Monkey Cat Pat Pat says, is he purposely going for the Richard Ramirez look? Who's that? Who's Richard Ramirez? I'm going to have to Google it. Okay, why does everyone say I look like a serial killer, dude? Every time I join a call, it's always you look like a serial killer. It's because I'm white. But you know I'm a quarter black. So you're a racist. If it was February, you'd be in jail right now. <laughs> Nobody knows what color you are. You're just... You're just... I'm a quarter black. I'm 75% white. But you, everyone says I look like a serial killer because I'm white. I'm a quarter black. I ran track, okay? I could beat you in a, any race. Pick one. <laughs> <laughs> anytime any place a race and you know what, bro how, how about could you beat me in a race to get the derivative of x squared with respect to x ready go i know this one hold up i literally was in math three bro algebra three what wait what is the derivative mean because if you tell me what that means i can solve it <laughs> bro, dude okay if you tell i can do the actual equation but i i forgot what that one specific i'm gonna word beat you australians one beat you I don't who, bro. That guy probably already looked up the answer. Derivative. <laughs> Derivative I means beat you that race. an artist. <laughs> um, what does derivative mean? Oh, uh, the, the, an representing the, the answer is two x. Richard Ramirez, MK Ultras's offspring also wrote, "Why don't you get a job?" Just saying. I do have a job. I'm going to the uh, door to door sales over the summer. Going to make bank. Me and Doug are going to change the world. What, what are you selling? What are you selling? Us. Pest control. Pest control. Yeah. I can sell you right now if you want, in front of your whole audience. I'm going to riz you up. Uh, yeah, uh, you're going to riz me up. Riz, you know what riz means? Uh, explain to the audience. Riz is charm. Like, you got to have that swag, that charm. Any girls in the chat, they know I have the Riz because I probably made them wet by now. They're probably looking on my Instagram, like, getting gushing over me. That's what the Riz is. Okay? I have a feeling none of that's true. Well, maybe because they're all, like, 40 years old. But the young ones will know. The young ones will. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm only 17 and a half. So the young ones will, the around my age, they will um, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I, in fact, I'll look right now, see if anyone do. Uh, all right. I'm, uh, just a second. I'm looking no, up something here. No one has uh, done it so, yet, but that, I probably didn't do it. Right. So how, oh. how will, how, how will you, uh, be making this much on, li on, uh, limp control, a pest control? Basically every house I sell is a thousand dollar contract for the house. Right. And uh, well, let's uh, knock. So I, every house I sell is a thousand dollars. I'm going to be out there knocking for a hundred four days. All I have to do is sell four hundred thousand houses. That's fifty percent commission. That's two hundred thousand k in commission. Four hundred thousand houses. Yeah, four hundred houses. Each one is a thousand dollar contract. That's four hundred thousand in service to revenue, which is two hundred thousand in commission. So do me. you start by putting pests in their house? Do you like do that ahead of time so that they have something to yeah. to remove? Well, sometimes you can get a dead roach and put it on their driveway and then say like, hey, dude, look at this. You need to get pest control. That's a strategy that works. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it because I'm an honest Christian. I have morals. But um, a lot of them do do that. Thanks. Also, my did, did I say my Instagram right? E-S-A-U right. e -S -A -U right. Uh, probably, right. Probably doesn't matter. It does. The girls want to message me, but I didn't say it right. That's why they didn't message me. <laughs> that's, that's definitely not it. Or you could look up Jaden Born Again. Like Jaden Born Again. All one so, word. So, all right. So the, the uh, I'm wondering, so on uh, behind you there, the uh, the star that's on the wall behind you, the, can, you, can you, can you grab that? We want to see it. Oh, I got a message. Oh, wait, that was my brother. You want to see the star? Yeah, let's see the star. That's 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 amazing. Is, um, I got my Mormon wear under this. Oh, my gosh. No, you don't. That's, it wasn't. I didn't see it there. 
I got this when I was a champion at cross country. They made me a star. All the I, it was girls who wrote this too. That's why I know that I'm a wizard. Wow, girls wrote that. Yeah, and they put it up, and now I have it in my house. So, so have you yet received a hug from a girl? Um, uh, you know, actually, yes, willingly. Actually, her name her name is Lily. Okay, Lily Sharp. I well, I don't know. If, I I didn't spell it, so it's okay. Her name is Lily Sharp. And I did receive a hug and a kiss from her. She was my girlfriend. So you can F off with all that. They're saying I'm a virgin, but it's not true. Well, it is true, but I'm a virgin, but by choice. So so just just to be clear, um, you did not pay her to give you a hug or kiss. I paid for the date. It but that's what you do, right? That's what, that's it what doesn't you do. Sound you pay for the date. That, that, it, it didn't sound right. What, paying for the date? It sounds like you paid her to go on a date with you. Oh, no. You no, see? no, no, I'm not a loser. I'm not you a loser. See? She went out with me because I was strong. I have a picture of her and me at the gym together. Oh, yeah, because um, be, you can be bench. Because, yeah. So, so just, like, like I I don't know. Have, have People maybe are familiar with, like, you know, the, the, the girl, the, the guy that's like, I've got a girlfriend, and... You know, we have a picture of her. Oh yeah. So do you have a picture? I have of her? a picture. Do you want it? Do you want me to stream it? I'll stream it right no, now. No, no, no. I want you to. I want you. No, no, no. It, it, is it? Is it going to be a, a, on a modeling website? No, it's on my Instagram. My archived reels. Archived ribs. Archived reels. I can pull it up right now. Okay. That does. <laughs> You want to see it? All of them are going to doubt me. They're all haters. But you know what they say, bro? Haters will never be as good as you. I don't I don't know. I don't. Especially globe haters, because they'll still believe the science, but I'll believe in the truth. <laughs> it's on my other Instagram. Uh, I mean, do do they need what, me to stream it right now? What, what's your other Instagram? Wait, wait. What's your other Instagram? Jaden Born Again. How many Instagrams do you have? I have like three. Thirty or three? Three. Three. Yeah, you know, you need one for the serious. You need one for the being goofy and silly. And then you need one to go spam on people's. Uh, you need to go spam hate comments on people's stuff. No, I no, don't. Uh, do not take that advice. Somebody wants well, to see you. Somebody wants to see your CTR ring. My what? Your CTR ring. What is a CTR ring? I don't know. Okay, yo, Chatter, explain what a CTR is. They'll donate five more dollars to explain it. And then I'll I, answer. I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, Monkey Cat Pat Pat says, just have to say I only have one tattoo and it's the offspring skull. I have no regerts. Offspring Skull. Um, what is that? Here, Offspring, Offspring is, a, Skull. is a band. Is that the band you listen to? I swear uh, I've seen it in your live stream. You got to keep them separated. You know what a good rock band is? Theocracy. Uh, they do Christian rock. Uh, or System to, of a Down. Have, oh. you, have you ever seen Theocracy play live? No, have you? Twice. Whoa, bro. Aren't they amazing? Aren't they like the best band ever? Name an album. Uh, Mirror of Souls. Oh, all right. Or what's the one where it was like a, the world was like red flooding on the album cover? My favorite song is Bethlehem. What about you? Uh, I like I like the stuff on the first album the most, probably. What's your first favorite song? Second. What's know. your favorite song in general? Favorite song in general? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have. Oh, come on, bro. Yeah. Everyone has a favorite song that you listen to when you're in the deep, deep lows. Your wife just divorced you. You got to play it to never, sure. Ne never happened. So your wife never divorced you. Nope. As, as yours. I never had a wife, but if I did, she wouldn't be able to divorce me because i uh, Mormonism. That's not allowed. 
What's All allowed, right. but only for like cheating. Only for cheating. All right. Um, I would never cheat. So, so what? What's your tattoo? Hers. Yours. Or the the com- I don't have a tattoo, All but right. they said that theirs was a skull. Yeah. Um, that's very bad because your employer is going to think that you're a degenerate, so they're not going to hire you. Uh, David Griffin says, I think his brain is pickled. Okay. You don't have pickled eggs. No, thanks. I uh, get them. Mi- uh, Mr. Mr. Q-Tube, first name is Fa, says Fifi Po Fum. What is Po? I don't Can know. Can you explain to me like I'm five, bro? Come Fla- on, bro. Do me a favor. Bobby and the Blomp says Pickle Me Timbers. Do me a favor and explain to me like I'm five. And I'll explain to you what the ether is like you're five. If you explain to me what a Po is like I'm five. Lord Illuminous Po says, did he just say I know where I'm Poing? He did say that. He did. That's what he said. He said you're yeah. pulling somewhere. Do, I do said, you know? Do you I know said, which? Di- do you know which direction you're pulling tonight? I might go for a run. Okay. PhD Tony says we can confirm no, Earth no. rotation by observing the Sanyak effect on matter waves using cold atom interferometry. Wasn't Sanyak that bimbo? I doubt it. Um. My favorite song, by the way, is One Republic, I Ain't Worried, because it was in Tom Cruise, uh, Top Gun Maverick. You ever seen that movie? Yes. And your favorite song is by, is by One Republic? Are, are you a big fan of yeah. One, Di- One Direction or the Backstreet Boys or New Kids on the Didn't Block? Didn't they make that? I want it that way. There you go. That Wow. That's a good song. No, it's not. Eric Meyer is a new member at Buzz Aldrin. Thank you, Eric. Astro hey. Kate says, I don't want to alarm you, MC Tune, but I think you're debating a goofball. I am goofy. My girlfriend told me I was goofy. Your ex girlfriend, right? Lindsay? She was a sociopath. Lily. Lily. She's a sociopath. She was a, socio- a sociopath. She manipulated me to get to my best friend. Is she with your best friend now? No. No. All right, PhD Tony you know, says it, two. Look, well, let, let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell, you tell something. me something. Tell me something. I gotta, I gotta come out the closet. Well, not like that, but I gotta come out the closet. She, bro. We did hug. Yeah, you're a but po? she didn't. Are you coming no. out that you're a po? <laughs> Dude, what does that mean? No, I was coming out with the truth because you oh. should lie. She did. Oh, she did not on. kiss me. Pause for a second. She Mister, did not kiss me, but it was Miss, just just a second, Mister Q Tube. Mr. Q-Tube says, best Christian back rock band, X Sinner. It's right here. Look at that. Right here. Here it goes. What? Right there. X Sinner. Medicine. I don't know what X Sinner means. Is that it's, a graph? X Sinner. X Sinner is, is, is one of my favorite bands, too. I've seen them several times. Both with the first singer I and did. with the second singer who came from the band Zion. Yeah, I like I kind of like the first album better. Um what does that mean? but uh but the second one's the second was good. Yep. Okay. Yep. I don't know All where right. these people are, but I gotta admit to you, uh Mike that, that, that you're a Poe? Lily did not she did not kiss me, but that's by choice. We didn't want to kiss. She, but she didn't hug me. And was that was the hug by choice or was she paid? The hug the hug okay, bro. The hug was by <laughs> choice, but we did not kiss, and I don't even think she liked me. But that was just a one-off thing. So you're bragging about a girlfriend that didn't like you. Well, I don't know. I don't even know if I would consider her a girlfriend. But we did hang out. We did a hug. And she was a girl. And I think she did like me for a little bit. But she was trying to also get to my friend. It's a very complex situation. But I thought I should come up with the, um, with the truth instead oh of gosh. just making it. Because I'm not a globe birther that just assumes things that are true and runs with it. I actually have the full middle ground truth. So we were kind of dating, kind of not dating. I don't know if she likes me. She probably didn't. Probably but I have not. other girls now. I have other girls now at UC Davis that I will raise up when I get my Mustang. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah. In the and past, plus, bro, in plus, the past. do they know that you can bench 135 pounds? Bro, by the time I'm there, I'll probably be able to bench 200, like for five reps. Why are you doubting me, bro? Well, make sure you make sure you save enough money to fly me out there to have our bench press competition. How much do you bench? Actually, what's your bench? Uh, I haven't I haven't benched for a long time. 
Um, <clears throat> last last I was benching was was over two hundred. Not much. How old were you? Uh thirteen. You're a liar, bro. You're not 13. No, when I was benching, I was 13. So you grew up in the good old days? Everybody thinks that they grew up in the good old days, I think. No, but I mean when America was segregated and they had the morals and the values. What does that have to do with benching when... It, it... You make no sense no, I'm there. Saying, but, uh, but, uh... Did you grow up back when men had testosterone is what I'm asking? Men still do. But not a lot. Sure. I know I do, but not a lot of men my age have testosterone like me. Dude, why are you laughing at? You laugh at claims that are true. Every claim I've given you, you laugh at is true. So that's not going to affect me when you're laughing right oh now because I know it's true. Oh, my gosh. All right, just a second here. I got to get this, the glasses on to, to match you. But hey, the problem man. is uh, now I can't read. Can I get prescription sure, pixel start? sunglasses? What do you think? I can't. I can't read a lot either. I used to be able to read at a fifth grade level when I was in second grade. And not. And, and now, now, now you can read at a second grade level since you're in fifth grade. <laughs> I'm actually in eleventh grade, and I can read at an eleventh grade level. But you said you dropped out and you got your GED this year. Which means you did already. I'm still in eleventh grade. You already did yeah. get your GED. Well, I didn't take the test yet, but I'm you, gonna get it. Well, you spoke of it in the past tense. Because I already got the papers filled out that I need to take the test. Oh, who who filled them out for you? Your mom? My school. Your f school? The, no, they didn't. Not the test papers. The papers to get the test. I'm going to take the test. Yeah, so somebody I'm had to fill pass. out the test papers. <laughs> the, the, Give me somebody an had to one fill question. out the papers to apply to get a GED for you because you couldn't do it yourself. All right, all right. It's good. I see it. That's how it works. That's how it works. I'm 17. Definitely not. I don't own it. Uh, PT Tony school. says, uh, regarding laser shots, two words, atmospheric dispersion. Oh, my goodness. We disproved that with the mirage in the vacuum chamber. <laughs> but there's no atmosphere in the vacuum chamber. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. The Atheist Hammer says his MA training is watching JCVD movies. You think that was a movie? Wait. Oh my! You got you got to do that again. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right, do it. Do it again. I'm his, not, his martial arts I'm, training is watching Jean Claude Van Damme movies. <laughs> it's just a blur. It's just a blur because there's no light in the room. <laughs> Where'd you go? He's he just left the room. It's like, oh mom, mom, I, I'm, I'm talking to my friends online. Don't, this is okay, mom. Don't make me. How you doing? How was that? What's Who was up? at the door? Was that your mom? What, mom. what did did your mom give you another another uh, couple minutes to talk before I have to go to bed? Dude, I don't got a bedtime. I stay up all night. <laughs> You're laughing at me, bro. Do you have kids? Yes. How much do your kids bench? Uh. <laughs> uh huh. That's so funny. One of my kids is an athletic trainer. <laughs> How old is he? Well, I'm 13. 20? So you do the you figure that out. So you uh, had a sex out of wedlock when you were like 12. No, my wife and I got married. What, the? what are you talking about? So he's like 27 years old, but I'm only 17. If you give me 10 more years, I'd be it's time Lord science, life. young man. Time Lord science. I will time Lord all over his science in 10 years, dude. <laughs> all right. Um, Stringer News One is wondering what is the major cation? The major cation in the concave model? Uh, in whatever model you uh, you want. Yeah, what is the major cation? That's not a word. It's not? Yeah, I just looked it up on Google. It's not a word. Okay, all right. Um, 
You're your right. chat got to ask better questions. Half these questions don't even exist. Well, I, it's yeah. Well, the the correct answer is that sodium is the major cation. Cody Payne sodium says, isn't real. Uh, so Cody Payne says every word this Poe is saying is nonsense. Sincerely, everyone who has attended a single physics lecture. Oh, like Doug, because Doug made this and he attended three whole years of three lectures. Three whole years of lectures. Yeah. Yeah. And they say that I'm ridiculous, but you believe that we're spinning on a globe in the middle of space with no God, and you believe nothing came from everything, or everything came from uh, it, nothing. It, it, it's not related life to God. Life life It's not related to evolution. You believe uh, the devil isn't it, real it's when It's not Cardi related B's to working. any spiritual stuff. It, it's just a, a fact of our universe. Mike, the Earth is a, is a globe. Do so, you think the devil's real? Uh yeah, he went down to Georgia he's looking for a soul to steal. Soul to steal. He was in a bind because he's way behind. Way behind. And he's to looking make to make a deal. A deal. New, 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 new. Running up the way, way, way. I forgot the lyrics. Yep. Running up the way, bad boys one. I used to listen to that when I was running cross country. It's a good song. <laughs> PhD Tony says, can someone image search this guy's face and check it against the register of clown faces? Can you can you can we get a good nice look so Wait. we could Hello, so... can I can I, wait, you want to? Yeah, there we go. All right, there you go. Screenshot that. We'll get it. We'll get you registered um, in the clown Mike, face registry. I, Mike, you want to talk about clowns? Mike, can you see the clown? Can I see the clown? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at him right now. You're looking at the clown? Yes. Uh, I don't see the clown, personally. Mike, do you see the clown? <laughs> I see the clown. Okay, so you see the clown who only shows himself to gay people. Uh, if that that's what you do, all right. <laughs> I'm not the clown, Mike. The joke was that you're, you're gay. That was the joke. Oh, that's not the joke. Uh, Battle Against Misinformation <laughs> says, make this Edgar Allen stop. He's doing a poor job. Oh, because his last name is Poe? I still don't understand what that means. Dude. Lord Illu That was Battle Against Misinformation, not the next guy. The next guy is Lord Illuminous Poe. Says, if the question is who's wrong, it's you. Obligatory, uh, obligatory jo bad joke. I heard Newton was made of fig. Like the, the candy? You know, if you think I'm wrong, you could DM me on Instagram. I gave multiple times, and I'm going to debunk you there like I debunked Mike here. PhD Tony says there are two equivalent definitions of mass resistance to acceleration by a force and that which generates gravitational potential. So both of those things were just made up loony bin science fiction things that the quote unquote scientists came up with and you believe them just because they said it. That's called a religion. That's not, called not real. That's not at not all. Science. They they were empirically confirmed. So Jay Walken says, by I, I just joined and I already feel dumbed down. Well, maybe you had a stroke or something, dude. Uh, could be. Could be. Uh... Yeah. Strokes would make your brain cells die. So you don't, you're not as smart as when you didn't have the stroke. <laughs> Judy, you got this. Says, I'm just so happy today. Because so... Chile de Castro finally FAFO'd in the wrong spot. He's a guest of Neva Envy, Nevada for the next six months. That's good. That's, that's the kind of thing that Chile needs. Oh, I thought Fidel Castro died. Chile. Chile de Castro. Gregorio Ganyan, Gregorio Ganyan uh, 5 says, just for fun, Toon, let's ask him exactly how he would design experiment to falsify any of this. Okay, so pick ooh, any... Ooh, oh my God, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Me and Doug came up with this last night, but it's going to cost a lot of money. Here's what you got to do. Get a giant rope, tie all the way around the circumference of the earth, and then get balloons to lift the rope up, Okay. So what would happen on a globe Earth is you wouldn't be able to lift it like a foot off the ground. But because things get smaller as they travel up in altitude in our model, if you were able to lift the rope up like 50 feet, 100 feet with the balloons all the way around the Earth, then that would prove that things shrink as they um, get higher up in the air. That is the false viable test. Also, the mirage in the vacuum that he already did that, was a that, false viable test. That is... 
That is an incredible falsifiable test of con concave Earth. Wow. And it would go against flat Earth, too. It would go against flat Earth as well. Wait, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> but it would be for Glober. It would destroy your position, at least. <laughs> It would cost $24 million. So if you guys want to donate and join the call, it's a small payment of $399 to start and $50 okay. every month after that to stay in the call. And, so and how do they stay. join the cult? DM me on Instagram, Jaden Born Again or Esau Wright. But I, I, Either thought, one of those. I thought there was a, a the cult at a Facebook page. Um, They did, but a lot of the members um, With 52 are, they don't members. like me anymore. 52 but members. But they don't like me anymore. They don't like me though, so I kind of left that. I said slurs. Why? Why would you do that? Well, they were saying stupid stuff. Well, what's the name of the 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 flat earth or the, sorry the concave group on Facebook with the now fifty one members? We're not talking about no Doug left. Doug shouldn't be in it anymore. But Doug, I'm not going to give them publicity. If you want to, if you want to find out what we truly believe, go to BibleOfScience.com. And you can see the book there for free. Everything I mentioned is in the book. Um, and he also, we're going to change the world with a new voting system. Okay. Power uh, to the people. Uh, all right. Uh, Mr. QTube, first name Fa, says, I might become a concave earther. This guy has some pretty potent arguments. No, that's all I wanted was to convert one person. D hey, guy, DM me on Instagram. Jaden born again, Esau right. We can get this started. You could be the third person. Do you, in do you the, not have a branch. Facebook presence? I don't, Facebook is for old people. This is a new gen thing. Then why are you on on Instagram? Instagram is for the kids. Oh, oh Instagram is older than than TikTok. You got to be on TikTok. TikTok is owned by the Chinese and the communists, and they are run by Satan. So why would I support that? Well, you're laughing all right, at well, you know well, then why not? All right. Well, seriously, Instagram is way too old. You need to just uh, stick with Snapchat. You know, I had Snapchat. I was messaging a girl on there, um, but she was 14. And Oh, my gosh. It's, it's I don't want to hear about three it. three-year age gap. Don't want to hear about it. It's only no, three years. We though. don't want to hear about it. PhD Tony says, we do experiments on neutrons falling under gravity. How does this ass hat explain why neutrons... Neut neutrons are attracted to earth so let me let me get this straight you commenter found a neutron you picked up a neutron and you got a camera that was the size of a neutron and you filmed it falling to earth is that what you did or did you just assume that the scientists were telling the truth i think when that, they came up that, with some the experiment is a little different than that no they just come up with science fiction and then they say it's true okay why don't i just say star wars hyper acceleration or hyperdrive is true but it's in the movie. Uh, that's not how. Fiction. That's not how science communication works. But uh, you go with that. Melodic lyrics as if the CMB. You know what CMB is. Mm, what is that? Cosmic microwave background radiation oh. is at the center of the concave model. How is it almost okay or zero k okay, zero Kelvin when an expansion would mean it violates gas laws as the volume gets smaller? Well, I'll tell you what, the cosmic background ray was another thing invented by scientists that they lied about, and then they assumed it was true. The Earth does not have that. And if you go to the center, you'll just meet a bunch of electrons. Uh, are they Jimmy That's... electrons? No, they, but they do a Jimmy dance. <laughs> Keep the shirt on. Keep the shirt on. Uh, Luke Filewalker <laughs> says in Germany, we would say limp pickle is as bright as a package of darkness. What do you think about that? Um, are you saying because black people have big it's wing wings? Nothing to do with that at all. I'm a quarter black and I can testify. That's true. <laughs> I don't want to hear about that. Jiffy Jiffwald says has Jiff, his Jiff has more Riz than him. It's Riz with, with a J. Yeah. It's Riz. But nobody has more Riz than me. Riz with a J. Nope. Oh, Riz with a J like Jaden? Yeah, nobody has more Riz than me. That was okay. 
<laughs> that wasn't it. Oh my gosh. I'll pick up your girl right now. Give me your girl's Instagram. Let's see if you trust her enough to be around. Come on. It's, it's a wrist with a J. He didn't get it. Whoosh. Lord Illuminous Poe says, if Earth is concave and Voyager has been in space for 40 plus years over twice your age, so provide me an in-depth explanation. Um, okay. I'll provide you an in-depth explanation. On Earth, they created this thing called the Voyager. They built it with aluminum foil and gold and parts. They sent it up into space and it kept going. Um, and this was around when my mom was born is when they sent it up there. She's 43. So they sent it up there and it's been going and going. And because the light changes speed based on altitude, it's getting slower. It, scientists know it's getting slower, but they say that's because of some gravity. But that doesn't even make sense because the gravity would be making it go faster as it got away from it. So um, if you really want to know the truth, just research why is Voyager slowing down and question if it makes sense. And you'll come to the conclusion it doesn't. And they just assumed it did. And they lied to you. Oh, well, Jiffy Jiffwald says jokes on you, Jaden. I don't have a girlfriend, so he can't uh, he can't give you his his girlfriend's Instagram. Uh, exactly. But but Chris Hoffman says MC Tune is informed this Poe that he is cringe AF no cap. Uh, cringe, cringe. I like to talk to you in real uh, in real life or on Instagram. Let's have a video call and let's be respectful. So, uh, respect all right, all right. Talking. Platonic Cuddler has a question for you. Are you in I'll the priesthood and what's the name of the priesthood you're in? Ironic priesthood. It's I-R-O-N-I-C. It, no, it's double A, I think. Ironic. Right. Uh, Tim Davidson oh. says he's a coach. He can bench a whole team. <laughs> he's talking about my kid. Um, oh, he's, you? He's he's a trainer. I'm a trainer. I'm going to be a trainer for my cross country no, team. No, I'm an no, adult. no, you're not. Tim Davidson says, a faster mile. "I like French onion soup." Is he having an aneurysm when he wrote that? Yeah. So, so what's the major occasion? What's the major occasion? The major cation is sodium. Sodium. And and what's the major anion? Wait, I know this. I know this one. Anion, right? Anion. That's what it means. Anion. Yeah. What's it's, the major? It's on what, the major anion. It's on this side of the periodic table, right? Wait, I think it's flipped for you. It's on the right side, right? Meaning it would be hydrogen. The major anion is chlorine. Yeah, I don't. What does he have to do with anything? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just that. Uh, right. Just that Antarctica is made of salt, boy. <laughs> so says. Uh -huh. So says Tracation. What? Uh, uh, Lord Illuminous Post says these cows are small. Those are far away. Right. Um, and the reason why the Voyager is small is because it's far away, and the further away you get from the surface, the light bends and makes it smaller because the light's getting slower. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, <laughs> Caucasian fine. sensation says we're, I'm we're late, fine. but but what's this Johnny Cash want to be talking about cults for? Is this the okay. flurf on the rack tonight? Yeah, he's no, a concave. concave cult. He's a concave flurfer. I'm not a flurfer. I'm a concaver. Ooh, Dip. see. CV McCullough is a big fan. CV says, of all the guests you've had, this is the dumbest. Okay. So, CV, I'd like to um, talk to you in person and have a civil dialogue. Come, I'll give you a McDonald's address near but, me. You want that? But, he, but CV is only on Facebook, so you're going to have to get on Facebook. Okay, CV, come to 6370 Mac Road, McDonald's, and we can come talk. All right. <laughs> Um, what, what is your, uh, can, can I find you on Vine? What's your favorite Vine? Ooh, Vine is so old, bro. I like the, um, mm. dude, I think Logan Paul had some good ones on there. Dude, it's so hard to remember a single one. Did you, now, here's a question. You're, you're in California, right? Did you yeah. see Logan Paul at the Flat Earth Convention in 2016 when he was there with Dion, Dion Poe? I, I didn't go in 2016. I was a child. 
Ah, uh, so was Dion. I mean, Dion still is. But uh, Dion was there with uh, Logan Paul at, uh, and he has he has photos there on his girlfriend's uh, phone. He's gonna get it to us, just like you. Uh, Eddie Reese says three ninety nine is a bit much to join a cult. Do you have a first time cultist discount? Are you a girl? I am not. Well, not you, the person asking. Is Eddie Reese a girl? Is your question. Eddie, if you're not trans, maybe if you transition and cut cut it off, then I can give you a discount. But only for girls is the discount. All right, there's your offer, oh. Eddie. Richie Rugg says, when is Steppenwolf getting back together? To you. Oh, that's the guy from Justice League, right? The Steppenwolf? The villain. Yeah, the villain with the hammer. Steppenwolf is a band. They probably named him after the band, that's why. Um, what's a good Steppenwolf song? I, uh, I don't know. I have to look it up. <laughs> I'm not, you don't listen uh, to them? Uh, only when they're on KQ. You know, it's a good band, System of a Down. If you're an atheist, listen to System of a Down. If you're a Christian, listen to Theocracy, okay? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, <clears throat> C.V. McCuller, McCuller says he's a troll, and he showed it in the debate. Uh, what other bands do you like in the same genre as Theocracy other than Theocracy? Uh, you know the Hacksaw Ridge soundtrack? No. You know the movie Hacksaw Ridge with the medic, the Desmond Dawson is running around like healing people in, in the name of God? No. I also like John Lennon. John Beautiful Lennon's boy. not in the same genre as Theocracy. Because I don't know many... Oh, okay. Um, There's this one band. You're talking about Christian rock, right? Metal. Yeah, metal specifically. Yeah, Cri yeah Christian metal. They're called Effector. And they made songs like New Jerusalem and Harmageddon. Very good. There's also Golden Resurrection and Divine Fire. Those are the ones in my playlist right now. I'm looking at. All right. But John Lennon's Beautiful Boy is a song about God and how he views us, basically. It's it's a totally different uh, genre, man. I know. All right. Rich Studio is a new member at Newton. Uh, thank you for that. You got Yadian says Yadian. Wait, you're Jadian. Maybe that's you. Jaded. Did you do that? I will spend to ask the Poe what's up with the sunglasses. Sorry if it was answered earlier. I'm late to the party. What's up with the sunglasses? Well, they give you a plus 10% um, conversion rate for the females. That's why we're... I'm trying to recruit... Yeah, for the, but the problem the is... The problem is you didn't roll 18 for, for charisma, right? You rolled D &D. 7 for charisma. And, uh, I love and, D &D, dude. and then, and then you put on, you put on the, the cursed shirt of negative two charisma. You can't, it, it's, uh, it it's, yes. You're talking about this? Yeah. Bro, I wear this to church. I swear the girls are looking at me. I do it like this too. And they told me I have to button it up and put a tie on, but that looks lame. Doesn't it? With the tie. Um, all right. Doesn't it look lame? I've never liked ties but uh let me for for tap for tap here you go read this right Pop, here tap popper right here. popper the logic of sign uh uh the logic of scientific discovery especially chapters three and four focus on them uh so read this like a big boy and then come back so you understand science big boy. a little better i've read my Pop. i've read my high school chemistry books when you finish with that one, you can read The Structures of Scientific um, Revolutions by Thomas Kuhn. What is that, that going to do for me? He's a uh, Kuhn? I'm, talk I'm talking to to, uh, to Tap. T-A-P-P. -P. Oh, my bad, there Tap. So, there you go. Um, is, that, is that Wiz? No, I don't have water, so I have to get the ice, put it in a bowl, and wait for it to melt. So I can drink the water that's inside. Why do you, you don't have water at your house? Well, the tap water is full with gay chemicals and I can drink all that. He, he rolled a D3 for a D20 throw. 
Okay, you want to talk about D and D, dude? I play D and D. What's your favorite class, dude? Hi. Tie? That's not class. High. High is a class. High class. Yep. I know I was high in class, but um. Uh, my favorite class was physics. Mine was recess. I believe you. Lord Illuminous Poe well, really says. Class. 40 years of moving in a straight line. Why has it not hit the other side? How big is this ball we're in? It might have slowed down, but why hasn't why it hasn't stopped? Talking about um, Voyager. Mr. For 40 Mr. years, Mr. Voyager's been going oh, that way. For 40 years, inside of the concave uh, trap, uh, you know, prison that you think we live in. Oh, oh, mom. What? Um, the reason why is Earth is the same size, it's just inside out, so space is the same size. But, but um, how is space yeah. the same size inside of the the uh, prison? Well, it's not a prison, it's an egg, it's Think a prison, it. you can't, it. right? There's you're trapped inside. I don't know if there's a way to dig out, um, because we never dug that far. Well, that's a good question, actually. Why do you believe the Earth has a core when you've never seen the core? That's not science. Uh, that's not are you observable. aware? Are you aware that we can determine the gender of a baby before it's born without slicing open the mom and crawling inside? But you don't even know if there's a baby inside this metaphorical mom. Are you, if uh, you didn't answer my question, are you aware yeah, of that can, at least? Okay, so similar, chemicals. similar. It's not chemicals. When they pee on the pregnancy thing, that tells them if it's a boy or girl. No, it doesn't. Or the ultrasound, right? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Well, how do they do it? It's the ultrasound, I mean, right? It's the ultrasound. But you thought <laughs> it's like the night, the naivete of this little boy. Oh, I'm 17 and a half, dude. I'm not a little boy. Okay. Um, seriously, I'm almost an adult. If you think Ed, about it, Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Reese is not cutting it off for no one. You lost a member. See what you did there. Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Well, we didn't watch you anyways, okay? You're probably going to bring us down. Dead weight. <laughs> BJ Tony says, this guy wants a civil discourse. He just called me and every other professional scientist frauds and liars. He's a great advertisement for Christianity. Well, good thing he's a uh, good, good thing his favorite poet is Edgar Allen. No. There's better poets than him. Qu quoth um, quoth guy... the Raven. Quoth the Raven. Lao Tzu is one of my favorite quotes. That's, that's, uh, Cody Payne says the fact that he's his take on Hacksaw Ridge is this guy goes around killing people in the name of God. <laughs> no, no, no I didn't say healing. Hold on. Tells you everything he needs to know. Famously, the movie's protagonist is a hardcore pacifist. But okay, what's your answer? Bro, I said healing. I don't know if the mic didn't pick it up, but I said he goes around healing people in the name of God. Another good World War II movie about God is Unbroken. Have you ever seen that? Unbroken? Yeah. Where yeah, he I held had... the log for like 30 minutes. Uh, so, oh, I saw I saw a clip of that. Yeah. Part of it. Dude, he was a you know he was a Christian. I, I didn't see enough of the movie to 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 know much of it. So he was a Christian. He went back after the war and forgave his Japanese captors for abusing him like a true Christian would. And that's why I don't like when atheists say that Christians uh, would have no morals if it wasn't for God. Because if you look at Desmond Doss and Louis Zamperini, they were uh, testaments of Jesus Christ. They were amazing. All right. Uh, the, the chat is, and, and I'm I'm agreeing with this, uh, that you did say healing, not not uh, <clears throat> um, killing as uh, as Cody. Cody probably just misheard. So. You're right. Uh, CV, CV McCuller says, did he just threaten me? I'm down, Queensberry. No, I just gave you the address to the McDonald's near me earlier. You can go look that up, pal. I'm not going to you. You can come on my turn, okay? <laughs> uh, will Wait, you, where is Queensberry anyways? Will you fly him there? After the summer when I have the money, yeah. yeah. But where is Queensberry? Is that Where's, in England? Uh, it's right next to Kingsbury. Is is that in England? Because I know they're and it's above it's above Prince Barry. What about Princess yeah. Barry? Yep, it's, it's just to the side of that. Yep. 
You know, I called my ex not girlfriend, kind of girlfriend, Princess Berry. Bazinga! Oh, gotcha. Oh my gosh, dude! My I told you my Riz is unstoppable, dude. I'm just, I'm just like you. I yeah, the, about these quips. The Riz, it just the Riz doesn't stop. It's amazing. Um, uh, Leo the Alchemist says, "Can you ask if he knows who Sneeko is?" Sneeko, my boy Sneeko. Just like, dude, I love Sneeko. I love Andrew Tate, dude. I watched him when I was 15. I was on the ultimate self improvement thing, like the movie Limitless, which is why I said Limitless was a self improvement film. Um, dude, Sneeko's absolutely based, but I don't like the fact that he's a Muslim. That's ridiculous. Um, but Prince Prince Barry's in another castle. It's like Mario. You got to go rescue the prince, but this time it's an LGBT uh, prince from an SJW game. Uh. <laughs> is, is is the prince transgender? Is he is like um no, Princess stop Peach? It. Stop, stop, stop. The, Dar Darren Delaney says this dude is the future star of the YouTube movie Officer. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get them actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. <laughs> dude! What does that mean? All right, uh, uh, never mind. So dude, this uh, uh, this what? is what I don't get, Doug. Doug, are you are you on board are you on board with with this guy doug, Me and has... doug prepped this <laughs> he prepped this whole slideshow i asked oh him if he was gosh. okay he said yes oh my god doug has a more comprehensive guide i admit i'm not a scientist but i explain it for the simple-minded globe earthers out there <laughs> I can't believe... doug i'm looking at your i'm looking at the mess right now i'm i'm i've got right here oh. What did you say, I've got Doug? Facebook Messenger right now. Can, can, I just want to from you, Doug. Yes or no? Just tell me. Are do do you back this guy? Are you are you on board with him? Doug, didn't I explain it perfectly in layman's terms? And Doug, if you want, you you could join right now. I mean, you could just pop her in right now and and say, in, "Yeah, I'm on." Or, "No, dude, uh, I have no clue who he is, and he's using my name." Without Don't abandon me, Doug. Uh, Doug, if you abandon me, no money. <laughs> Don't worry, Doug. You're not losing anything. Jay Watkins is 17 years, years old Bro. and filled with dogma to the brim. Let's hope he's not already a lost cause. As for now, he is blinded. So you want to talk about dogma? So you want to talk about dogma? Your and atheist Paul. dogma. Your atheist dogma is that you can be a hedonist and do whatever you want, take a bunch of drugs and rape. And I don't know. I, I think dogma. I think maybe he's talking about the movie by Jay and Silent Bob. Isn't that from Trailer Park Boys? Trailer Park Boys, no, right? No. And Ricky. You, and you should you should not be familiar with Trailer Park Boys. Why? <laughs> it's so a good many, show. So many reasons that you. <laughs> it's like a sitcom. It's like The Office. Mall I watched rats? The Office seven times. What is Mall Rats? Mall, Mall Rats, another movie by Jay and Silent Bob. Um, Mike, can I ask you a question? How did you develop this? Quippy Spider-Man charisma. Spider-Man charisma. You know how he he's always throwing out quips to his villains, like funny one-liners. Like, oh. how are you doing? I'm not. I'm not a Spider-Man fan, so I don't know. But how did you develop this uh, charisma? Is what I'm asking. Uh, I don't know. I did. I rolled a d20 and got 20. Okay, bro. See, you're still doing it right now, dude. Uh, yo, give me the real answer, bro. Help a brother out. How did you get this charisma? Because I want to appeal to the Globe Earthers. Apparently, they don't like mine. So how do they get yours? How do you get yours? Dude, you got to re-roll. You got to roll a new character. Okay, bro. But I like being a quarter black. That way I don't get uh, killed by the police, but I'm still fast. <laughs> All right, maybe don't go there anymore. <laughs> I told you I'm a one line. I told Mr. you. Mr. Leahy switch, died. Dude. He did. I don't I know. He just got drunk in season three. Somebody, somebody asked. I don't know. No, he he didn't die, bro. He didn't die. You're tripping. Yeah. All nice. right. Is that, is that uh, all the chats? That's it. Amazing. What do we do now? What's the end of the show like? Uh, well, I I guess this is where you you wrap up all of your your woke proofs for concave Earth. Mm -hmm. Um. And, uh, 
It did. Yeah, so I just. All right. Relay, he really did. Oh, I, I got to look this up. He didn't die, dude. Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Oh, he died years ago. They're saying Jim Leahy, Wikipedia. Yeah. The actor? Uh, portrayed by Jim Dunsworth. Jim Dunsworth died in October 2017. What up? <laughs> He's been dead a while. Shed a tear for a minute. I didn't like Leahy that much. I'm did, not going to lie. They, he did, they, did they... Well, they haven't done new episodes for a while. No, they like the America one in the camp and the uh, like Brayden. It was like animated. They they did a, they traveled to England. That was terrible. England, Mike. Oh, I can do a British accent. Oi, Jiminy Crump, I'll give me some off one. Scrap. I'm going to go Tesco, Mike. CV McCullers has come to my house. We'll go bare knuckles and then a capital B followed by a, a, by a hashtag followed by a, an asterisk and then an ampersand and then a carrot. I don't know what half of those were, but I'll tell you, I started the fight club at my school, dude. I, there was only one fight that I was in, but it was a tie. And it was, it was with yourself. Around. No, but it was a, well, I'm not schizophrenic, like a lot of globe earthers, but I fought and I did do bare knuckles. So I'm ready. And if you give me, I gave you an address near the McDonald's near me. Why don't you give me an address to like somewhere near you? So, um, is it is it Jean Claude Van Damme or is it somebody else that you you've uh, you you uh, you learned your martial arts from? Bruce Lee. Do Do you know that that uh, um, Sifu Smo was looking for uh, people to be in his cult? Yeah, don't don't pull a don't pull a hammy. I told you I learned Jeet Kune Do. I dabble in Muay Thai. Yeah, so so let me. You know what? I should hook you up with Sifu Smo, because uh, he's looking for new members for his cult. Uh, no, no, we're not. I'm not joining another cult. He can uh, join mine. I'll hook you destroyed. up. No, he can. He can be your Sifu. Um, like seafood, like Japanese. No, Sifu. S I F U. Like Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. There you go. Is that what you're calling me, Poe? Les, no. Leslie Roris says, surely you are kidding about not knowing any Steppenwolf songs. I'm not kidding, and don't call me Shirley. Like a Shirley Temple. Nope. It's made with the uh, grenadine. I worked in a restaurant. It's made with grenadine and Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? Just so random. All right. Uh, tell you what. Let's 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 uh, let's give our final remarks. And then, uh, and then we can, we'll say goodbye to the audience. The the outro song will roll. You don't have to close the 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 window here, um, <clears throat> uh, but because uh, we we can talk while the outro roll goes, and nobody will hear us. It's amazing. So, all right, uh, nice. what do you have to say? What do you have to say? Um, well, like I said, the concave Earth is the only one that makes sense when you combine both flat Earth and globe Earth theory. Um, if you want to learn more about it, like you're, you genuinely are a truth seeker, look up BibleOfScience.com. Doug made the book. And if you want to join the actual um, organization, I'll call it now, you can DM me on Instagram, Jaden, J-A-D-E-N, born again, like a born again Christian, Jaden born again. Um, and just DM me and be like, hey, I saw you on the stream. I knew you were a uh, Rizzler when I first saw you. And then I'll know it's you. Okay. All right. Well. Super. Uh, we have clearance, Clarence. And uh, so uh, next next week, next week, I'm debating uh, oh, a guy from Facebook that's super, super full of himself. Um, I am going to Texas to see the eclipse. If you're interested in going to see the eclipse and might be in North Texas, uh, join me on my Discord server. I have a channel for that. And uh, we can talk about I, I know where I'm going to be, and and I, we can talk about how to coordinate if you want Ooh. to be there. So, you have a question? Yeah, um, I got a question. Can a shadow ever be smaller than the thing that it is being cast by? Yes. If no, the light, can't. That's if wrong. The lights, if the light source is bigger, yes, it can. How is the moon, the shadow of the moon and the eclipse, um, is smaller than the moon itself? Because the light source is bigger. That's not science. Yes, it is. It's simple geometry. 
<clears throat> it's literally that's right. middle school or earlier geometry. Not sure. Don't care if you understand it. I can only explain it for you. I can't understand it for you. Oh, C.V. McCuller. Star Wars. Ooh, hold on. C.V. McCuller gave. Uh, we're we're gonna we're we're gonna just a second here on the uh, Stevie. On the outro. Stevie Wonder. No, C.V. As Ooh. in, uh, you know what they what they do in uh, England for a resume. Healthcare. Oh. No. You know, I knew a girl named Stevie. She worked at that restaurant I was talking about. She was the owner's daughter, but she yeah. was 12. I was 15, and she was trying to flirt with me. And I, it was an awkward situation all around because, I mean, the owner's daughter was on – or the owner's – the owner itself was on meth. I, I, he was on nobody, meth. Nobody cares. Uh, all right, here's the coordinates that C.V. McCuller yeah. just dropped right here in the Jonesboro, Arkansas. And uh, let's see what we have here. Read them out for me. We've got uh, sharp there. Let's let's get uh, let's get to the uh, street view. I don't uh, I don't know what you're look you're having me look at. You said he put coordinates. I right? don't see I don't see a McDonald's there, but I do see I, I see a, a looks like some sort of I a, said a county seat. No six three seven zero Mac Road six three seven zero Mac Road. Mac M A C K wrote. Just a just a second, just a second, just a, we're we're I'm talking I'm talking with C V right now. Uh, What's up, uh, C V? All right, and there's Sharp is right here. What's I don't right? know if this is 800 South Main. I don't know what what is this? What am I looking at here, C V? Is this where you want to meet him? Is this where you want him to? Yeah. All right. I'll pull up. I'll pull up your thing, bro. Sure. All right. What was uh? What was your address that you that that uh, where you you're uh, living right now? No, it's not where I live. It's a McDonald's near me. Six three seven zero Mac Road. M A C K Road. Six zero seven three. No seven six six three seven zero. Six six seven three zero. No six six three seven. All right, bro, stop trolling me. Six three seven zero Mac Road to McDonald's. In uh, Arkansas. What? Is this in Arkansas? It's in Arkansas. No, it's in California. What city? Sacramento? Sacramento. Yeah. All right. Is that where you live? What? Yeah. What? what? No, I can't. Dude, you're going to get in trouble, get grounded. No, it's my little brother. There it is. He wanted to troll you. No. Wait. No. All right. I know. I told him to skedaddle. But it's in Sacramento. And he could pull up at McDonald's. Tell me one. DM me on Instagram. So so apparently inside this courthouse is a McDonald's. Somebody Dude, said, what did you type? I don't know. Yes. Yes, Leslie. I, I do know that, that uh, CV is curriculum vitae. What right. the? Anyway. This is too fancy. Okay. Uh, so yes, if you're interested in going to the eclipse, then uh, I've even got I've even got glasses that came in the other day. So, all right, um, don't disconnect. But uh, thanks everybody, thanks to everybody that participated. Um, again, one more time, what what is your favorite uh, your favorite um, poet that has written about ravens? Sun or Edgar Allen. Oh, thanks everybody. See you nice later. When it's empty. Here we go. Empty tune. Drop that beat. All right. Let it flow. Let yourself go. So I know that is the so, tempo. So, yeah, let's do this. So, let's do this. Um, Yo, it's empty tune, the debunking tycoon. I shatter flyer who's making face the moon. Your temps are decent, but they'll swoon in the face of my logic like a deflated balloon. Oh, empty tune, the one soon part tunes. On the real estate, send it first to their dues. Your theories are like old brews, sweeping ignorance or just spread in the fumes. FDFP stands for fumbling the facts, evidently. I drop truth bombs so splendidly. Your approach is soft, mine's unrelenting. I bring the science while you're just venting. Only two, the buffoon with silver spoon. I pack the pseudo science, make them change their tune. You're the sidekick, I'm the room. When it comes to debunking, I'm the room.
Wizzle Dizzle. But hey, if you be, we share the creed to educate and debunk the plant the seed. Though in this rap, it's clear indeed I've got the upper hand in word and deed. Uh, all right, hold on a second. <laughs> the Zoom call died. Everything died. No.